Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. Hi. We are back. Back and better than before. Probably. Well, I hope so. Maybe. I seek to constantly improve myself. We gonna find out. Josh is the only one. Uh -huh. uh, so last time on episode 51. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we separated from our party and made the commitment to, for a month, train at Wizard Steve's wild world of shenanigans. AKA Wacky shenanigans. Krezik. Wacky, crazy shenanigans. Um, and we're going to have Absidy and Shart run through some training missions. We're going to get to play some other characters. And, uh, yeah, we said goodbye to some friends. Dirt, Esmeralda, Casimir, uh, Gray, and... Messiah, Messiah and Erwin. And Erwin all left to go make it look like the party was going to uh, Castle Ravenloft because we were invited to a dinner by Strahd. Which so, was Messiah? Was that Messiah the werewolf? Messiah's the werewolf okay. general. She's she's the pack leader now. Okay. But it's actually me, so fuck <laughs> off. Your current second in command. Yeah, she's, she's number two. Uh, yeah, they all left. Uh, and Dirt got the dagger form of Mongo's Claymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rufio gave that to him. Also got a pendant from Fuck. Something yeah, very uh, personal. Shield. So, yeah, shield. I was gonna say I also gave him uh, a booby. shield for his birthday. <laughs> the booby shield. Well, it turned into a what he needed a it. Fander, fander shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but into. it was a booby shield. <laughs> and so. Dirt was like, <laughs> and Absy was like, I know what boobs look like. <laughs> Thanks. I've touched the shield before. <laughs> <laughs> before it was mine, I totally touched it. <clears throat> A lot. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. We're getting ready to do our first exercise. I'm excited. DM, uh, whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, so we will start with um, how many days are in for a month? Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> we'll be on episode or episode. Wow. We'll be on day like twenty seven. So, Absidy, uh, you've grown accustomed to waking up in Kresik at this point. Uh, there is a Wizard Steve rooster that usually goes, it's time to wake up, dude! Uh, and it's usually at about 6 a.m., so that's when everyone starts getting up. The minute you always wake up, you start smelling breakfast being made. Uh, the guest house, everything has turned completely underground. Like, this barracks has turned into a giant kind of um, ecosystem of uh, training and barracks and armory for the different tribes that have basically come in. Uh, you and Irina still share your room, and there's that kind of, like, tunnel in the first uh, living room that just kind of goes right under to the barracks. So, uh, Irina's still sleeping. Um you found more and more in this time you've just you value her sleeping and you knowing exactly where she is and slowly but surely the rest of you wake up and we'll follow Absidy. can i here. be out like outside Absidy's door waiting for him sure when he opens up most certainly well, i thought there cool. was a are the the thing to get down uh, it's in the living room oh okay. so you guys okay. have that second floor and then you go down the stairs to the living room and then going down to the living room is the barracks okay Think of it like a full, massive, like, mall. Like, gotcha. underground. That's mm -hmm. right. We said we were going to go to the Steve Mall. So, it's like <laughs> a little house, and then under it is just a complete... Catacombs. Mall. Yeah. Okay. So, Rufio is already outside your door. Is this a common occurrence? No. Okay. Usually you have the I've... few moments <laughs> before going to the barracks and dealing with everyone by yourself, but it seems Rufio is already there. Oh, so I've already walked out? Yep. Or... Okay. If you want to say anything to Irina while she's like, oh. <laughs> oh, no, I was just going to, like you were saying, I'm very glad that I know where she's at now. So I just kind of take a moment and and think about everything I've done to get to this point to see her safe and give her a little smooch on the forehead. Hell yeah. And I'm like, nice. nice. And I walk out to, uh, I, then I open the door. And, and it's see. just Rufio Crotch. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, hi. Hi. I, uh. I wanted to walk and talk with you today. Okay. I'm not going to so, try and kill you, I promise. Okay, cool. Then we're good. <laughs> Great. Let's go. Uh, did, did you eat yet? No, not yet. Okay, because I didn't eat yet either. We can walk to breakfast together. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming everyone else will meet us down there. Sweet. When it comes time. Absidy, what, what happens after this? After... After Strahd? After Strahd, after Barovia, after we get out of here, where where do we go? 
I don't know. What happens to you and Irina? I hope she comes with me. What's... What's your plan? Absidy, you're... You're my friend. And... I can't... I can't support you with where you're currently at. But... I want to help you. And I don't know what to do to make that happen. You've chosen a path that is against everything I can stand for. You don't have to follow me down the path. You just have to walk with me until we defeat Strahd. And if we have to go our separate ways, then we go our separate ways. Do you and, have I, a, and I don't want to. Look, do you're have, my friend too. Do you have a plan? I'm taking things one day at a time. I've lost so many people before Irina, and I, I can't. I can't lose her. So I'm doing what I have to do to keep her safe. Uh, I respect that, but... I just feel like it's very short-sighted, and I'm worried about you. And I'll kind of, like, give him a little shove. Playfully, not like a push him to the ground. <laughs> <What> the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's not a long way down. Yeah. And then as I as I kind of come back, mm. I like, and I I jump up just to pat him on the shoulder, and I got up. Oh, thanks, buddy. But a little more somber. I just don't know how to do that while also jumping. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, pal. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pat pitter pat pitter. <laughs> and uh, after yeah, after that. I'll just kind of like walk with my hand on his shoulder until we get to breakfast and like give him a nod and you know I don't support what you're doing but know that if you ever need my help whether we go our separate ways or not I'm here for you thanks man and I'll pretend to punch him in the face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I then made, I strike him. I Matrix. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Irina's like waking up. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're like, push. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> like, are, she's like, are, am I sure that they're not gay for each other? <laughs> and then I pull my dick out. No. <laughs> He's already a dick sucking wing. Uh, height. Uh, Shart. While everyone is kind of getting together. Um... <clears throat> Are you sleeping in your room, or are you sleeping in where the training barracks are? Honestly, I would say that I'm doing everything to prep for getting getting Vin back. So I would say I'm probably sleeping in the barracks. Okay. So, as all the kind of clamor and commotion, like, you have the barracks, and they're all each separate rooms, but you are in the deep of the fighting pit. You are with the sand, and every morning, you've been waking up with just spittle and grit in your mouth and your teeth, and you've grown accustomed to it. it reminds you of when you used to live in the wild, and it kind of brings you a warm comfort as the different smells kind of come in, and you kind of get up, and you start banging on the berserkers' doors as they've all kind of, you know, expected the the usual sharp wake up yeah. as you start going to get your your uh, Waffle House style <laughs> breakfast. Yep. Fuck. Are you staying in the Oasis or you're staying in your room? Which was the Oasis? I don't <laughs> the <remember>. mall. <laughs> the mall <laughs> under the catacombs. I would assume... Anywhere like where Strahd wouldn't see us, so where Strahd wouldn't like, see you. Most likely underground. Okay, so you've kind of at some point found this kind of makeshift side off. It used to be like a Wetzel's Pretzels kind of thing. It's just it's just a section that's kind of cut off that you you have your own simple things. You have a, a bedroll, a pillow. You have your things kind of laid out. You have different incense and candles that you have to your onk that you concentrate on every night and. You've also you've all kind of grown into this routine of where it's wake up at six, start getting ready for the day. You and Rufio have been starting to get a little bit tighter because you two are both in on your own plan together. So usually when you wake up, you meet Rufio in a certain spot and he isn't there yet. It takes a little bit before you see him coming down with Ab City. And while that happens, uh, Shart, you start going down, moving down towards the uh, the mess hall where you see Thok and Rufio and Absidy starting to slowly kind of 
convene together and you all kind of join up in this one kind of like this little part before going out to the kitchen <clears throat> gentlemen yeah what's up what's up morning it's uh it's getting close guys how's everybody feeling I'm ready <sighs> I'm ready to go you guys are running stuff today, right? Yeah. We have a stealth training mission tonight. We're going to uh, play a little little game I used to play with XYZ. All right. What about you? I already talked to Wizard Steve. <clears throat> How'd that go? Oh, I mean, it took longer than expected. So, Fair. You know, about as well as you can expect. But uh, he's... Uh, He's got some healing on on site for us, and uh, I told him we got to be ready for a bloodbath. So we're having a uh, good old fashioned battle royal. Uh, any issue with any of the werewolves? You come to me. I'll get it sorted. Sounds good. I appreciate that. And then I'll turn to Thok. How about you? You ready for dinner? I'm always ready for dinner. <laughs> it's food. I was food good. Kind of kind of being. It's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do, uh... <laughs> that's fucking cool. Oh, that dinner. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's... I, I guess. Weird. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry. You're... Okay. I was thinking about breakfast. It, yeah, I understand. It's fine, Doc. Yeah. I'm ha happy to have you here, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. Do you need to practice eating? <laughs> I can be strawed. I, 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 <laughs> Please don't be strawed. I'm strawed. Von Sarah, bitch. Ha. Ha. And the whole table laughs. <laughs> Are you at the kitchen yet? You're at the table? Are you guys just so awkwardly sitting in the... Standing in the yeah, bitch. Ha, ha. Validate me. <laughs> and you hear like a... Ha. As you see yes. some of the dust owls kind of like walk by. They're like... Um, I, I think we need to make sure I can get something to make my armor quieter from Wizard Steve before any of this happens. So if whoever sees him next... Please ask about making me stealthier. What if he makes your armor out of feathers? I mean, he would absolutely... They're going to be the brightest pink feathers ever. I know it. <laughs> I can feel it. But I'd be okay with it. As long as I get to... It still is armor. All right. <clears throat> I mean, he said something about a... a Foot Locker Steve or something like that, so... I guess I could go check in with Foot Locker Steven. Well, no, he point. said there's like a membership, so you probably wouldn't be able to get in. He'd have right. to do it for you. So, he said something about Costco, too. I, I don't know what any of this shit is. I just need to be quieter. If we're gonna, if I'm gonna mask of many faces, disguise myself, it, I can't be clinking in formal attire. Same. So, but I already you already that. have your boots, so just, uh, if anybody sees him, just keep that in mind. Down. So, so, do we know if all Steves share a single consciousness? <laughs> I don't even. I don't want. I'm just. Do they share a hive it. mind? Yeah, because they're like pests, right? I think so. Okay. Is cool. he is like Wizard Steve? The Wizard is he like the queen? And I think everyone else emanates from him. Yeah. Maybe, because then you could just go to Foot Locker and say, "Hey, remember me?" Or I could go to Foot Locker and he'd be like, "No." Yeah. That could really go. I think. Way. Yeah, it, it's really a fifty-fifty shot. Okay. Um, did you talk to him about making us vampire kits? Uh, no, but we can do that, too, okay. whenever we see one of them. <laughs> one of them? One of many Wizard Steves. Is there a vampire? No, never mind. Don't worry about it. No, we're not. Nope. Please, no. It's okay. I'm still working on extra healing potions, too, just because I know some of you guys have abilities to heal and stuff like that, and I know you aren't going to be on my mission, so. We have an, enti an entire army to outfit. So, <laughs> make away, man. We need steaks. We need holy water. We need a lot. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, kn I know I can make at least some crude healing potions. We're asking a lot from Steve, and I know that most of us can't stand him. So, <laughs> look what he did. <laughs> it took minutes to do this. I, I know. I'm just doing some extra stuff late at night, pull my own weight. This is coming from the guy who used a wish spell on his voice. <laughs> it's, it's been three weeks. That's fine. He's growing on me. I mean, he's I guess. like physically. Like, is there a rash? I hope not. But <laughs> I mean, I'm not. And the whole as... table laughs. I don't, ah, I don't are want you to guys crush sitting him down yet. There's a laugh track. Wait, yeah, are we sitting down yet? 
Oh. I would assume while you guys are walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. walk and talk. Uh, do I know what's in my egg yet? No. Mm, okay. All right. I don't oh. know what's in your egg yet. I still, I'm still working on I'm it. Still. <laughs> It's more soupy. I have it in like, You're a, like I have it in a, in a latch. Latch. I just wear it it's around. Cute. <laughs> uh, Rufio, as uh, at one point, as they're training with the elves and the berserkers and werewolves, we need to sit down and discuss like what spells, for example, I should have prepared for the dinner. Uh, yeah, like, let's we, let's do that. Yeah, we'll I don't do. need to prepare spells. They're just kind of. I have a v extensive list. Of spells, but we need to figure out which ones are going to be the ones that are crucially needed for that day. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'd like and to we'll sit down and figure that, that out. Yeah. So I guess we are going to sit down. We're already sitting down? Yeah, we're, you we're guys sitting are sitting down. down. Sitting you down. guys kind of have those laminated menus ding, ding. that you're already accustomed to, <laughs> that you're like, point. And so you, you know, <laughs> Waiter Steve comes over. Oh, hey, you dudes! Uh, let me see, uh, regular, usual, 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 usual? Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. I, can I actually get mine covered this time? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we can smother it. All right. Make it, make it wet. <laughs> nope, same thing. I'm All right, green. cool. And you see I'm like, and pop, pop, pop. Your, uh, <laughs> your breakfast just kind of pops up. Waiter Steve, do you know where Wizard Steve is? He's probably in his room. Wait, the... The downstairs one? Yeah, like his library room? Yeah. Yeah. Where he does the library where he doesn't read any of the books. He reads his books. That's pretty presumptuous, dude. He said he didn't read the books. Yeah, he's got those golden my golden books that he reads. You're right. I I was talking That's about a different offensive. set of books. Maybe you shouldn't say that around him. Uh you know what? Good point. Thanks, waiter Steve. Yeah, that's me. See you later. Yeah, alright. Bye. Don't forget the tip, just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't going to tip. I wasn't going to tip either. Cool. You yeah. guys never do. <laughs> <laughs> He's very passive aggressive about it. <laughs> just... All right. Well, we know where he is, so let's eat and get started with the day. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why Waiter Steve is so funny to me that he's passive aggressive. It's like, yeah, maybe you tip this guy. Put down two gold pieces. <laughs> Eyes all of you. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. That was funny. Um, okay, so breakfast goes pretty pretty normal. Everyone has their own kind of, like, table. It's very high school. Dusk elves kind of stick with dusk elves. Berserkers kind of sit with berserkers. Werewolves with berserkers. Raven folk. They all kind of don't intermingle. Like, there are some, like, pleasantries, but there's also a lot of hostility amongst the different kind of factions. Like... Probably a couple of were ravens ran into some dusk elves that, you know, hey, we need help with something, and they probably, like, fuck off, werewolf attack, I don't give a shit. So there's just a lot of, like, tension between the factions, despite there being a common goal. But, um, as breakfast continues, uh, what are you, you guys doing after, I'm sorry, after breakfast? Uh, I'd go talk to Wizard Steve about that stuff. Okay, about the kits and whatnot. About the kits and the boots, or making me my armor quiet or something. Okay, just for the sake of my sanity, uh, he's gonna start working on the the vampire kits, uh, the the potions, and he's gotta kind of keep your armor last because it's not a main priority at the moment. Yeah. Uh, mostly, it's outfitting the rest of the kind of herd and making sure everyone has what they need. Okay. Um, what are what are you doing, Doc? <clears throat> I think I would just be with Rufio trying to plan out the dinner. Like, cool. yeah. who else is with the dinner with us? No, uh, Dirt and nobody that's actually here. No, oh, there's everybody that's you? traveling. Yep. Yeah. So, because they're going to be traversing. Well, so, not Dirt. Dirt's going to be on a. Dinner. Oh, that's right. Dirt's going to be on it. So on I think the over the what is this twenty some odd days? Yeah, twenty seven. Like, whatever, like we have been like planning. I would use sending mm -hmm. to let the re the traveling party uh -huh. up to date and. Uh, communicate back you, and forth you've mainly been communicating with dirt um and at some point uh you have all kind of went into like the little video game room and scried on dirt um occasionally you you've seen him maybe like a handful of times uh saw him on his birthday he's doing a lot of training with esmeralda it seems um uh, on his birthday he with his shaggy kind of like brownish blonde hair he actually shaves it all the way back down to skin like he's starting anew and as you kind of go on you see this kid kind of you know 
Esmeralda is not letting up on him. Like the minute he gets to, like starts getting up, she pummels him back down to get back up. And he's got little cuts and bruises, but you see the skills kind of getting better. You see him working with the the shield, and he's starting to do these different kind of weird combos. And at at the point where you check on him every five days, on the fifth day, he has none of his weapons on him, and he's just kind of combat. You know, fighting with his just hand to hand combat. He's not even doing any kind of radiant anything. He's just making sure he's honing himself. Um, but he is he is keeping in contact with you and doing so. Like every time you talk to him, like his resolve is like he's getting more focused. It's just like oh, I don't know, and it's more like this is what we're doing. We're going here and then we're moving here, and he's it, it seems repet repetitious. Every time you're like, okay, and then we're going to do the dinner. He goes, yes, I know. And then when we go to the dinner, we're going to go up here. And possibly if this is an entry point, like he's breaking everything down for you. Like he's starting to, because he's with these different faction and minds, like the heads of these different factions. It seems like he's getting a lot more information and it's less, you know, squandering despite probably gray being really annoying. Uh, everyone's been super beneficial to him. So yeah. Question. Just since you said um, we've utilized the scrying on him, uh, mm -hmm. is that Wizard Steve helping us with the scrying, or is that my use of the scrying? He has his own little, like, scrying thing. Okay. So it's not your use, okay. per se. That's what I'm just yeah. clarifying. No, that's fair. Um, but yeah, just, you've been keeping tabs on dirt. You just haven't really been able to communicate that much with him. But every night they go under this little hut that Casimir kind of <laughs> transpires and they kind of hide they're able to hide from uh, Strahd and that's when you're able to kind of do your sending and, and whatnot. there's like a routine you know at this time of night you can reach dirt got it cool okay, okay. Uh, so let us move on so Absidy it's probably about during the during the day and during everything you kind of speak with Irina and um Irina just seems more and more timid. She's more happy to be around her brother and see him again and you. And uh, she just seems kind of troubled through, you know, it's getting closer to D-Day. Mm -hmm. um, and so as Twilight comes and you guys have been working on, you and your group have been working every single night. This is something new that you've concocted. Like, you kind of take tips from Shark, like Battle Royale, or, you know, see if you can steal something from someone that day. And then present it at the beginning of, you know, the next night or something like that. Like little exercises to kind of form this unit amongst, you know, these guys all have relationships with each other, but you're the odd man out. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of dusk. You go down to your danger room, per se. It's just kind of this blank scape. And um, Wizard Steve's there. He's like, all right, my dude, what are we looking for today? Okay. Okay. So what I want to do, there's this game that I used to play when I was a kid. Uh -huh. So we need like uh, like a maze or a series of hallways or, or like a town. Um, just some sort of environment that we can all get around. Okay. Uh, and I need four totems. Four I need, totems. I need four totems right. in four different locations. Okay. And uh, I'm going to need four different starting locations. Uh -huh. One for each of our, of our uh, group. Okay. And uh, various traps. Just to give us a chance to sneak around. On, All right. Because I assume Strahd is going to trap some things or set up some traps. I for mean, us. he seems like a tricky dude. He does seem like a tricky dude. He's a very tricky, like a tricky guy. Like a yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna have adjacent colors. So you'll probably be blue. Another guy will be like green. Right. We'll figure it out. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, no. Let's see. Oh, one last <clears throat> thing. Yeah. I want everyone to practice lethal damage. Is there anything you can do uh, to not let us die? Yeah, kind of like the shark thing where they're all kind of just beating each other up and then like stabbing each other. And then I'm like, oh, there goes your owies. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds good. Yeah, no, I can do that. Okay, cool. All right, put this visor on. <laughs> and I put the visor on. No, there's no visor. <laughs> it's okay. And I get a visor for each one. <laughs> so it's a bingo visor. As you're, as you're talking, uh, Valian, Kirian, and Piotr... You, you three have kind of been, um, you know, you keep to yourselves, you talk amongst each other, and you know it's dusk. You're going to have to deal with Absidy and one of his rudimentary, babyish tasks. Would you like to describe your characters, Mike? So, I, my character here is uh, Kyrian Woodwaker. 
He obviously is a Dusk Elf. Uh, he is Circle of the Land Arctic, so he kind of has a specialty in uh, storm and cold-related damage spells. Um, <clears throat> very much doesn't necessarily see eye-to-eye with Casimir um, in his philosophy, but still obviously follows along with the tribe. Um, and uh, before Barovia, he was kind of more of a, uh, like kind of like a vigilante type, uh, always would try to help out his people being those a little bit poorer, uh, even if it meant taking from those who were a little bit richer, but he usually kind of sing- sing- uh, singled out um, kind of the crappy people to try and uh, benefit his clan, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. There we go. All right, so, yeah, Kyrian. Okay, we'll move on to Piotr. Uh, so Piotr is, um, he's actually a monk, uh, the shadow monk, and uh, so he likes to be stealthy, and uh, he normally wears a lot of, like, black, no armor, so it's a lot of robes, um, and... Uh, different things that he uses to like uh sneak around uh he has a quarter staff that he uses as his main weapon of choice um he he's more of a what, what did you say earlier is a, a good soldier a good soldier like he he takes orders follows orders he used to be a criminal but not anymore he kind of like built his way from the ground up and kind of found a sense of purpose of just uh figuring out that being a soldier is what he's good at and kind of being a scout and being very mobile he's very quick uh you'll see that he has a very long um he has very long hair but the sides are shaved so it's almost like a very long-haired mohawk that comes down into a braid that comes to his middle of his back um and i think that's it that's all i got for him we'll move on to valiant uh valiant crayock is uh my character he's a he's a ranger uh which i'm so excited to play um, he is second in command to Casimir, uh, loves learning under Casimir, following his ways, uh, you know, trying to figure out how to be a better leader and whatnot. Kind of pretentious, a little stuck up because he comes from a noble family, um, really listens to Casimir and anything that Casimir says, hey, you need to do this, Valiant does. Anything else, uh, especially from someone that isn't of elvish descent, uh, it's a little more difficult. He's a little more stubborn. But um, he's also very much a pretty boy. Being a ranger, he doesn't really get into the battle very much. He's kind of a ranged fighter. He sits in the back. But he's very his his armor is very nice. It's very clean and tight fitting. He's uh, got a very like long, slender face. Keeps his hair tied and in a, a top knot at all times. Uh, but it's very long, very sleek looking. And uh, yeah, he's just very divisive on uh, the ways of Casimir and really his own way. So that's Valiant. Okay. So the three of you, you slowly single file kind of show up in Absidy. You're there like, what's up everyone. Hello, little one. So what have you stolen from me today? Well, I mean, I did a little bit of stealing around town, but sorry, that's for me guy. I gave you a task to steal something and bring it to me tonight as a, a test for our stealth. Did you steal anything? Yes, I did. I said I stole plenty, but it's for me. It's not for you. Can I see it? Go ahead and pull out Shart's necklace. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm just going to take that. Um, <laughs> that's my friends. That was good. You did very well. I'm surprised he didn't try to kill you. But good quite, job. I'm quite sneaky. You're, it's good to know. Okay. Um, it, 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 Kyrian. Oh. Wait, did I do Valiant. Yeah, oh, Valiant. That's Kyrian. Oh, Kyrian. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, yeah, Valiant. Uh, I did not steal anything. <sighs> You're just stealing my time, so... I'm utilizing your time. We have a task. Yes. We committed to, to it. Right. Yes. I'm ready. And as but... the sneakiest person here, I think I'm someone who should be listened to. Feels like a leap. Is it? It, it feels that way. Yeah. I mean, you're wrong, but that's okay. 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 We'll see. Anyway, uh, Fjoder? Poit, 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 I'm sorry. You could no. get his name right. Piotr. Piotr. Uh, well, I, I asked Valian and 
he said not to waste my time doing it, so oh, I okay. didn't. Well, that's fine. I'm not excited about it. What do we I'm have being planned? passive aggressive, if you didn't catch that. What do we have planned for today, little one? Okay, well, tonight what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little game called Capture the Totem. I had Steve spin up a little dungeon for us. Uh, there's gonna be four totems throughout, and we're all gonna start at a different location, okay? Now what we have to do is find the totem, find all four totems, and bring it to a center location. Should be like a circle or a pit or something like that. Uh, you have to have all four before you can enter the center circle. Are we tying each other up when we find one another, or...? Oh no, that's my special treat. Kill each other. You saw the pits that Shart and the more aggressive people were fighting in, how uh, they could just get pommeled and pommeled and pommeled, and they'd come back to life? Yes. I got that for us. Great. So, yeah, feel free to just uh, take out your frustrations and angers and disappointments on whoever. <laughs> it's El also going to be very painful. <laughs> in Elvish, I turned to Valiant and was like, do we take the little one out first? Ups absolutely. Sounds mm. like a plan. <laughs> in, in common, I say, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to get through it. <laughs> in common, I say, okay, we got in. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll wait for Wiz Wizard Steve to get here, and I think he'll assign us or teleport us. I don't know how he's doing it, but it should be fun. Uh, there will be traps, so make sure to check for that. Um, is there... Is there... Oh, I guess I can't. I gotta wait. Um, well, I'm gonna ask. Is there any sort of vision limitation? Um, is there darkness? Is there darkness? Or just like a or fog of war. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's going to be during... Uh, it's going to be a cityscape, so... Do, it's really up to you. Do you want it to be at night? Do you want it to be at, like, dusk? Afternoon? During the day? Do you want pedestrians? What do you want? Um, Darkness probably makes the most sense. Yeah. We are going to the dungeons, after all. That's exactly what I was thinking. Or the catacombs. So if we can have some darkness... Um, yeah, pedestrians might be good. Try to stay away from them. Okay. All right, now I can do it. Okay. Uh, would I know the name of Strahd's person? Yes. His, what is that individual's name? <laughs> oh. The Strahd, wait, what? His his butler, second in command. The, the Dusk Elf that, le le that left us. Oh, right, right. Basically, the this Dusk Elf led to your guys' slaughter, because he basically took everything in. He's like, yeah, no, great, and then told Strahd everything. Yeah. Oh, his he was like an inside man. Is Rahadin. Rahadin. You got it? Yeah. Would Absidy know that? If they shared it with you. Would you have shared it with me? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> He's the only one. <laughs> Teacher's pet. It's got nothing to do like that, man. Okay. So are we ready? Yes. Battle map? Yep. <clears throat> da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da. I'm ready. Welcome to the Wizard Steve's was. maze. So, um. <clears throat> as all four of you kind of are like, all right, what do we, what do we do? Your body slowly starts to like pixelate, and it kind of like, boop, boop, and um, each of you are outfitted with um, your regular armor. Only it's excruciatingly like a different color. So, Absidy, all of your color is just straight blue. Um, Kirian, yours is like an aqua. To kind of go with your your ice theme, uh, Piorthers, yours is like bright red, and then Valian, yours is a tacky yellow. Great, <laughs> it's a normal yellow, but you think it's tacky. Awesome, because you're Valian. So everyone, roll initiative. Ooh -wee. Oh my god, I have an actual initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have a plus something. <laughs> okay, uh, what'd you get? Sixteen. Eleven. Modded 20. Okay. 21. 21. Oh, okay. So our order is Piotr, Valian, uh, Kirian, Absidy. The elves. <laughs> yeah. Absidy. <laughs> okay. Piotr, what are we doing? So uh, you are here? Okay. Okay. Oh, and so what is our vision? So vision, so the, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so you're in a urban, like, uh, outs outside scape. Uh, 
everything's kind of uh, twisty, turny. You're just in an alleyway. You're in a very populated like city. Uh, you don't see a lot of pedestrians. It's about uh, it's what you would suspect to be midnight. So everything's dark. There aren't a lot of like candle lamps or sorry torches. Mm-hmm. So I would say dim light. So how far can we see? Um, I have night vision, so I can the dark vision. I see as far. I mean, if you have night, you're the only one that doesn't. What what is it? But what is so what? What's so yours the normal would be vision, then? 30, 30, 30 and then dark vision is sixty. Sixty. Yeah. So okay. you have thirty feet, but only in gray. So we can't see like anything that's like color. Okay. But, yeah. Dark vision's in gray. Yep. Okay. So thirty. So. Um, I'm going to... We can cut corners, right? Yeah. I can never remember. Okay, pull pull the mic a little bit, just so you're not talking over it. No, number one. Uh, so I'm going to go 5, 10, and look around the corner. Okay. Do I see anything? Uh, so, Piotr, you kind of, like, turn around the corner, and you see a homeless man with a whiskey bottle going, and so my old man's a dustman, and he's also a dustman. He's the vine. And I'm going to look around. Can... Uh, I see anything in this general area. Go ahead and roll uh, perception for me. Perception. 18. 18. So as you're looking, uh, you don't see much uh, outside of the scape, but you see to your right a glint of light bouncing off of something reflective. Okay. So I'm going to go... To your right. My other right. Use the (laughs) else. (laughs) That's right. There you go. Okay. This way? Yeah. In this corner? Like in this area? So, you see something, yeah, in about... Where is it? Oh, it's all the way around. Never mind. Uh, Just kidding. No? You don't see anything? I don't see anything? No? Okay. You see the circle that uh, Absidy spoke about. Okay. And you see on each kind of, like, corner here, you see, like, uh, your color red. And then you see a aquamarine. And you see a blue. And you see a yellow. And everything's kind of dim. Like, it looks like it lights up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go 15, 20, 25, 30. 35. Eh, you know what? No. I'm going to say 30 here. Okay. And I'm just going to hold an action. Okay. What's What are you holding for? Uh, I'm going to hold a dart. For when I see Absidy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So when I see Absidy, I'm going to sh- throw a dart at him. Perfect. Okay. Valiant, you're up. Right. Well, I will uh, come five, five feet this way, mm-hmm. and I will quickly, 10, 15, come in this area and i'll look around in the room do i see anything so looking into that room you see uh it is an alleyway um and you see a you see a homeless man drinking whiskey going my old man's also a dustman and he was a dustman's dustman you just see a homeless man just drinking and singing all right well this is fantastic uh and then i'll go (laughs) five ten another 15 feet and I will uh, knock an arrow. Okay. And I'll just keep it. I don't. I don't want to like have an attack or anything. I just want to have my my longbow knocked and ready. Uh, do I see anything around me? Uh, so looking forward, you kind of see the glimpse of the circle, and you see kind of like the, that sick tacky yellow that you're kind of wearing. You're like, oh, that's disgusting. That's mine. Uh, and I just want to let you know, as a DM note, my passive perception is a 15. Okay. Good to know. Kirian. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead. Take a quick step out here. All right. And I'm just going to look around. I'm going to see that I could either go left or right. There's two different hallways. I'm going to take a gold piece out of my pocket and... You're going to... Head, heads is left. Tails is right. All right. Looks like we're heading to the right. And I'm going to come down around here. So that's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet of movement. Um, I'm going to look down that hallway. Do I see anything? Uh, looking down that hallway, go ahead and roll perception or investigation. Investigation. Because you're looking. 12. Don't really see anything down there. Okay. All right. And then um, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and... Uh, 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 
hit the right things. I am going to just, uh, I got my short bow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold, uh, hold that out. Okay. Actually, hold on. Um, range on it. Just DM question. Sure. Range is uh, 8320. Uh, I wouldn't be able to see that far. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to hold uh, hold, hold a bow. Okay. Uh, Absidy, you're up. Okay. Um, summoning my dogs, is that a action, bonus action? It's an action. It's a full action? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then what I will do is move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Just okay. Just be right here. And I'm going to summon one of the dogs. Okay, which one are you summoning? I'm going to summon XYZ. Okay. So the skinnier one. Sure. So they have dark vision. Yes. Up to 60 feet. So I'm going to have him be here and just keep watch. Does, is that a new initiative roll or is it just along with me? It will be on your initiative roll. Okay. So I, does he start doing anything now? Or is he can do his own thing. Okay. Or you know what? Next turn. Next I'll, turn? We'll let him do it. Okay. Um, cool. Do, then oh sorry. Go ahead. No, oh, I was gonna say, do I? W would I hear him s saying anything here? Yeah, are you trying to be stealthy? Oh yeah, but I'm not. I'm not saying anything. You have to say something to summon him, don't you? Yeah, you got to say the summoning word. You have to speak in abyssal. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. So, infernal, like, infernal, 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 infernal. That's infernal. right. So yeah, I, mum I mumble under my breath, and you know, I might as well just do both of them. So go ahead, roll stealth to see if you can be quiet enough to. Do that? You're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it smells like sulfur too. Uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Fuck. Your passive. Your passive. No one hears. I was gonna say my passive perception's a seventeen. Mine's a like, sixteen. Damn. And passive. you were like, mine's a fifteen. <laughs> I didn't know. You were all dick out. <laughs> I definitely wasn't. Okay. Uh, so yeah, no one hears as. <laughs> Hey guys. Do a little pet. Um, I believe my cunning action I can use. Uh, oh, it's dash, disengage, hide. So bonus action, mm -hmm. I could check for traps. Yeah. So how how big of an area, like, can I check for traps in this? You have to be like. It's like right up on the it's thing. It's yeah. area. Okay. Um, what about investigation? If you're looking for anything? Yeah, if I'm just, like, so looking. So you can kind of, like, broad, kind of investigate for traps, I can say that. Okay. So, yeah, I want to do that on... Like, if anything's, like, off. Okay. Yeah, I want to do that on, on this room. Okay, so as you turn around, go ahead and roll investigation. Kinked. Ooh. Three. Looks dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. This looks so cool. You're like, sick. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um, yeah, I will cunning action dash to one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Because this would, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All okay. Right. Uh, I also want to point out that I, one, two, three is just a fucking potato. And because they're husky. That's cute. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Be out there, you're up. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm seeing that I didn't see him. Yep. I'm gonna go... I'm like, where the fuck is it for one? one? Peek around the corner, do I see... Uh, Roll, I mean, are you being sneaky? Oh, I'm, I'm not hiding behind anything, I'm just looking. So, you kind of, like, look at each other, you make eye contact. <laughs> but I'm gonna... Seeing that there's a hallway next to him... Mm hmm I'm not attacking. What are you gonna I'm do? I'm just gonna dash right by him. So, oh, um, I'm held in action. I have a bow cocked. Yeah, yeah, I do right. have a bow cocked. Okay. You have an arrow cocked. Go for it. Let's do it. Bloodshed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rage. Thirteen to hit. Nope. Misses. Do um, you um? Do you have catch missile? Yeah, but that's only if it hits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, if, what is what is catch uh, missile? It's deflect. Fucking catch the okay. arrow and then chuck it back yeah. at him. What? It's, it's deflect, yeah. But, but that's if it hits. Yeah, that's if it hits. Oh, that was the thing. Uh, okay, 
Hell yeah. Right? It's if it hits? Hell yeah. I don't know. I think you can do it. You can use your reaction to deflect and catch a missile when you are hit by a range. Because I have to subtract the total damage. Yeah, because you use a D6 to bring it down to zero, right? Or is it a D20 to bring it to zero? It's insane. It's a D10 plus three plus five because it's like plus your proficiency, your proficiency so plus eight. your deck. So D10 plus eight. That attack yeah. actually would have been a disadvantage too because you're going to be with inside of 80 feet. There you go. No, no, short bow. No, so. that's not how it works. No, it's 80 to without disadvantage. Anything that's over 80 is at disadvantage. And then isn't it? Oh, over 320 is not. Is, you can't is, do doesn't it. Hit. So, so uh, 10 to 80 fine. is regular. Oh, and then okay. 80 so you're to fine. whatever is. Because we talked about that last session. I we've, don't think we clarified it on camera. So yeah, we talked about it like every it's 10 confusing. episodes. <laughs> it's confusing. No, we go. Um, we, so we, that we, was we straight. 10. I see the, I'm assuming I see yeah, the. Yeah, you see the arrow and interact. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, that was 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay. God, that's insane. And then, that's so gross. I'm assuming I see two hallways. Yep. So then I'm going to use my action to dash. Mm -hmm. So 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I guess I would go in here. Yeah. 20, 25, 30. Uh, no, you can't go there. I can't, that's a wall. I can't see. Ah! 30. I see it in front of me. So as you kind of peek around the corner, you see in your kind of red, bright red armor, you see a uh, like a Tiki Steve. And he's like... <laughs> and you're like, Hoobastank. Great. Question. How big are they? Yeah, I was going to ask that too. Okay, sorry. Like, yeah, no, you're good. They're like Tiki's. They're like football. Like, so something that I can tie on my belt. Yeah, it's got like a little lanyard around it. So yeah, you can put it around your belt. Okay. So I'll grab red Tiki Steve and... <laughs> Tie it on my net belt. Okay. Uh, before you do that, I need you to roll a... Oh, well. Um, let me see what it is. Please roll a strength saving throw. Ooh. I <laughs> never want to do that. <laughs> not great, but not, be uh, not bad. What'd you Thir get? 13. Okay. So as you're kind of like standing there and you're like, this was easy. You hear like a creaking above your head and you see this cage start to fall down and you just kind of sideswept it. Sideswipe it. It would have been a deck save. My bad. It's probably higher. Uh, you made higher. it. So you just kind of like, whoop, and all of you hear this. You all hear a loud clang in this kind of area. Area. Good. <laughs> then I still got the tiki. You got the tiki, and then who? Who's looking at the circle? I am. As you I can see it. and yeah, I'm looking that way too. Uh, Kirian are looking at the circle. You see the red portion of the circle, light bright red. Oh, thank you. I'll just put it over here. Okay. Um, so that was 30. <laughs> so I'm going to go 35, 40, 45, 50. Do I see anything? Um, go ahead and roll investigation. <sighs> Ooh. This isn't fucked. Uh, 12. Don't really see anything down there. All right. So 55 will put me there, and that's it. That's okay. all I can do. Funneled. Valiant, you up. So I saw it light up. I will 5, 10, 15, 20. No, I'll go 20. Because I'll go diagonal. Uh, so I'll see Kyrian. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is this feet of dark vision? I don't know if that. Oh. Yeah. How did it's you, just how did you dimly, read that? Dimly lit. I didn't know if there was like light around. It's, a, it's you. like a dim light. So how far is your vision in general? Uh, I don't. I think that just know. goes like forever. Yeah, until you just can't see stuff yeah. anymore. This is dark vision. It's still sixty. Okay. Like, just like I, I envision this not illuminating. It's like a, a glow. Yeah, it's just uh, it's not like illuminating. I, the I whole figure thing. It, like really this glow. lit up, so I would then like it would be if he can see the light, then it would be like at least on him a little bit. It's he's not stealthy. It's possible. It'd be hard. Um, I is would it, say, <sighs> is it opaque? It gives. Yeah, it's it's opaque, so it's like a dim. Once again, it's not like a bright light that's brighting up, lighting up a whole room. Mm -hmm. So the the way the the light enchantment is, it isn't really bouncing off the walls. It's just something everyone visually can see. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So what I'll do now? I think I've done fifteen feet of movement. Mm -hmm. 20. Twenty. Twenty feet of movement. I will. I'm going to go 25, 30, and then I want to use my action to cast uh, Pass Without a Trace Okay, on myself. 
Okay, explain that to the group. Uh, pass without a trace. I can, and anyone in a 30 foot radius of me, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from me, masking me and my companions from detection. For the duration, each creature I choose within 30 feet of me, including myself, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks and can't be tracked except by <coughs> magical means. A creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. How long is that for? An hour. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah. Is that concentration? It is concentration. Okay. Uh, do we have the little thingies? Oh, yeah. So, essentially, that means we can't see you right now. I Well, I'm about to stealth, but yes. Okay. I just used my action, so I wanted to also dash, but I used my action. So, um, But if you smack him. Yeah. <laughs> so I can still see him. It's just, unless he's being well, stealthy, I can't. Can see I stealth? Can I, in doing that, also, like, stealth myself? Is that a thing, or do I have to wait Let me next? look <laughs> yeah, it's hide, is a, hide is an action. Okay. Okay. I know it says that, but that's fine. Pretend that that's passable without a trace. I just want to know that I'm. I you have, have something. You're yeah. enchanted. I have to roll step for stuff. Sometimes. Anything else? Um. I will. No, I can't do. Well, yeah, I can't. No, I can't hold another. I can't hold an arrow to see something because I took my action. Right. Um. No, I'm done. That's it for me. Okay. Kidian. Um, question. Sure. This is just Answer. me um, metagaming a little bit, so I do apologize for that. Um, if his hellhounds die, they're dead. Since this is a simulation, does that count on this? No. Nope. Okay. You I can just kill. wanted to check for Oh, yeah. Because that's, your, cause that's, that's something I that I just thought about. So My, I was going to ask, whenever you guys were going to attack the dogs, how do you feel about the dogs? Do you fucking hate these dogs? Because if, they're, hellhounds if they're, they're annoying... <laughs> And they're hellhounds. You can get a little bit more aggression. It depends on how much you don't like Absidy, honestly. It's Sorry. it's free reign, baby. What are we doing? All right. All right. So, uh, clearly, uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and just assume that Piotr found what he was looking for. So, I'm just going to start walking on 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. And... When I do that, I see I have a hillhound right over here. Mm -hmm. And then I also see that I have a Valian right up ahead. So, I am going to go ahead and cast Frostbite on Valian. Go for it. What does that do? Uh, Frostbite is a cantrip. Uh, you can use Numbing Frost to form on one creature that you can see within range. The target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes 2d6 cold damage and has disadvantage on their next weapon attack roll. Alright, make that con save, baby. What's the range? On 60 feet. Cantrip? Jesus. Cantrip, sir. Oh yeah, no, I did what I did. Uh, 11. You will take... Uh, nine points of frost dam or nine points of cold damage, and you have disadvantage on your next weapon attack. So, <clears throat> Valiant, as you're putting like you're drawing these arcane symbols into the air, you kind of see Kirian, and he just looks at where Piotr went, and he kind of steps up. He looks over to the right, and you just see like a, and and you just see this frost start to envelop, and you feel it like hit the chill of your. Your heart, and you're like, this motherfucker just... Okay. <laughs> you're like, thought we were going after the little one. He's always such a fucking dick. Okay, what else are we doing? And then, uh, let's see, do I have anything else to do here? Um... No, that will, that will be it. Okay. Absidy, you're up. Okay. So... Is there a certain order that I need to do these in? No, no just like all of us sure. at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go first here. Let's pop around one, two. Okay. And check for traps. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Duh. Six. Don't see anything. Okay. I want to throw this out there because I would have heard him fail. Mm -hmm. Not knowing it was a failure, but hearing yeah. and knowing that I told... Steve to put traps. Sure. I would like to roll again. Is that feasible? No. Okay. Because you because you knew about the traps there. You just you looked for it. You didn't see it. Okay. So then, yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d a con save for me. Con save. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Nineteen. 
Okay. So as you go, you kind of step on one of the tiles and it lights up. It has these different kind of archaic runes and you feel this pulse kind of just chatter through you as your body tenses up and you're able to shake it off and release as you go for your wizard Steve, which is like, (laughs) and it's aquamarine. You pick it up and you two see this as another light that's in this corner lights up as blue. What else are we doing? Okay, so that was 510, so 15, 20, 25. Um, and do, 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 so that, that's all one movement. I will dash, so five. Can I, can I, so if I'm hiding here, I can see around the corner, right? You can peek your head around. Okay, well, so they have 60 feet, so he'd yep. be, they'd be able to see. I know yeah. they can't speak right. infernal but i think they would they, they can yeah. understand you so xyz is kind of like uh cartoon dog bloodhound where he just like points he's like ding because okay. he's the thinner more athletic and then potato is just kind of like <laughs> <laughs> one two three okay um so i'll know that it's him he's the only one who likes me so i'll be going a bit easy. Can I give them reactions or like hold actions? I would say you would be able to order them, but you have to speak at a regular level, speaking level, to kind of tell them what to do. Excuse me. To to do any action or to to like a rea- like if you're like hold, you just kind of hold. I'll, I'll, I feel like it could be a little too OP if you're like just reaction and then no yeah, one knows yeah. what's going on. So if you're like you're like you have to say it. So but, I just have basic. Yeah, hold. Okay, so then yeah, I will, I will say to them hold, so they're right there, um, and then actually I'm gonna do, yeah, no, I'll just hide. Okay. So they're gonna roll. Uh, you use your action, so you'll just be behind there. Now What's again, up? this time did I hear him say anything? I didn't say anything. You just kind of did the. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. No, so. it's cool. If you try to do more complicated things, you'll probably have to say something in Infernal. Mm-hmm. But I'm guessing you did, like, kind of, like, basic, like, hold, go, stop, yeah, like those kind of things. Yeah, training. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are back at the top of the round. It is Piotr's turn. Our right. first guy with our Tiki Torch. I'm going to run 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... I see where he's at, right? Right. So as you kind of peer over, you see both your light color shining, and you see a blue one shining as well. So you can assume that someone else has a torch. Okay. Or a statue. Tiki. A tiki. A A Stevie. Okay. Seeing that he's engaged with him, I'm just going to try to, like, run by. Not sneak. I'm just running. Okay. 45, 50, 55. And look. Can I see all the way to the end of that hallway? I think it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 4. I would say you can see to about here. All right. Fine. And you kind of, you just see like the, the shadows kind of start to, to form over there. So you don't really know where that goes. So I'll use my action to go 5, 10. You see it and it's kind of another wall. So I see that it's a dead end. Mm-hmm. Okay. God, so much movement. <laughs> 25, 30, 35, 40, 45... Is this a wall? That's a wall. Okay. And he's there. So you would be in a reaction area if you okay. were to... Okay. Uh, us 50. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to take 55. You got an attack of opportunity? If you want to take it. If you want to take a reaction. And just because I've never been a spellcaster before, is that only a weapon attack or can yeah, I... It has okay. to be a melee. Yeah, you can't use a spell. There's okay. certain wizards that can do that, like if you're a warcaster. It's warcaster, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that's part of what my my curiosity was is just because I do have the bonus action shillelagh, so mm-hmm. I just wasn't sure if that would be something that would qualify. Right. Um. But I do have a scimitar, so. Ooh. Good catch. Good catch, man. Yeah, I, mean, I do that was good. Can he? He didn't have the scimitar drawn. Is that? It'll still count as a reaction because he can just go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Swipe. It's okay. It's not going to hit. I rolled a two, so oh, an eight. Yeah. So as you get close to Kirian, he just kind of, and you're like, 
And you say it like Elvis, you're like, the fuck, man? I'm just, you guys are communicating. You guys do what, what you're I don't doing. know what you expect me to do. I just uh, I saw a shadow come from behind me. I didn't know what to do. I fucking swung at it. I'll, I'll remember this for next time. <laughs> fucking do it. And, and you hear them squabbling, and absolutely you're like, <sighs> children. That's it. They're all older than you, by the way. <laughs> I know what I said. By hundreds of years. <laughs> They've seen the dawn oh, yeah. of your people, and you're like, ugh, children. Yeah, you guys were... Elementary. You, you guys were dwarves when we were, <laughs> like, in our teens. You only got smaller. That's it. Okay. Uh, Valian. Uh, seeing him lash out at Piotr, I would, um... I would let... I would call out to him and be like... We're on our own, and I'll knock an arrow, use my bonus action, cast Hunter's Mark on uh, Kyrian. Oh, okay. And go, okay, so this is how we're doing it? Fine. And I would take one, uh, that would drop my pass without a trace. Correct. So, oh wait, I need to put that. Yeah, we'll take that off. Hunter's Mark? No, you put it on the person that you're putting it on. Oh, okay. So if you're putting Just take off your... My, my frightened. Oh, you're right here. Uh, you're right. one back. One back. Yeah. Okay. Also, I want to say I'm gonna add a new detail. Okay. You also see um, Piotr's like uh, armor kind of like pulsing, so you kind of have an idea that he has. Oh, that's how cool. Oh, okay. All right. It's so just a dim kind of like. I will uh, shoot uh, an they, arrow. They can see it. Yeah. And you have at, disadvantage. Why? Because you got hit with the frost. Oh, right. Good. Sh- oh, that's a natural one. Ooh. I mean, that's a disadvantage. That doesn't check it that's out a disadvantage, baby boy. <laughs> Second one was a two. Okay. Oh. So as you kind of knock back, you're like, come the fuck, man. You hear ting, and you look over at your bowstring, and it's just split. <sighs> natural ones have consequences. Oh, pull out my... I have... For whatever... No, maybe I don't have that. Um, I will then use uh, Chill Touch. Go for it. I have 120 foot range with that. Uh, is that, that is a. Do you have two attacks? I have two attacks. Two. Okay. Uh, that is a 14. It doesn't hit. Okay. Well, then I will go. So, so as you. Sorry, as you're moving, you're kind of like, tink, and you're like, fine, fuck this, magic man. You want to use magic? And you kind of like make your archaic hand, and you reach out, and this skeletal hand starts lurching towards Kyrian, and it just dissipates. Like, it starts crumbling as it goes towards him. I'll deep sigh, and move 5, 10, 15, 20, (laughs) 25, 30. Okay. So as you start, like, bitching out, and you start running, you kind of See that this is kind of like a little, like, uh, a very mini inn that you kind of, like, see different carts and, like, you see, uh, like, a bar and you see, like, Bartender Steve and he's like, (laughs) (laughs) and at the end of it, you see, uh, the, that was, you have a, oh, okay. So you have the Aquamarine Tiki. Yeah. That's the blue Tiki. So you see this blue Wizard Steve, like, great. It's doing very cute kawaii pose. Great. And you're like, uh, disgusting. Kyrian. Oh, well, so it looks as though uh, Valian is being a bit of a prick today. All right. Every day. <laughs> all Have you day. met him before? <laughs> all day. <laughs> seems to be quite all right okay so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to cast wild shape on myself and i'm going to take the form of a black panther yeah all right <laughs> shit okay. i'll see if i can find something for you. <laughs> it's a medium just use your piece i'll be back yeah no quite alright. So, using Wild Shape, I've now, you've just seen, as I go ahead and basically kind of, like, take my staff and just bang it into the ground twice, you see that my form just shifts into that of a Black Panther, and uh, I've already done a little bit of research on what my statistics for that are going to be. So, I am going to uh, use my action to... Go ahead. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. As you go in, you're in this tiki hut, and 
<laughs> Wizard Steve goes, oh, that's a that's a kitty cat. That's cool. <laughs> and Valiant, you've seen this before. You're like, fuck. Black Panthers are not, are like the best beast animal you can get. That's not like bigger than a yeah. So, but it's me. Nice. Mm, not concerned. I just see all this in front of me. <laughs> yeah, you're just like the fu-? you're like tiki's guys, tiki's. Focus on tiki's. Teamwork makes the dream uh, okay. work. So uh, sorry, I'm just taking a look at different things here. <clears throat> sorry, just taking a look at different things here. Um, that was your action and your movement. Yeah, that was my my movement, and uh, yeah, I guess that would end, that would end up being it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna move on to Absidy's turn. Okay. So I would have heard all that, but not <laughs> yeah. seen it. Right. I would have seen. I see him. I know they're there because of dark vision. Right. So I'm gonna tell them to go. Okay. And attack. Go for it. So. Potato and. Oh, sorry. <laughs> X Y Z and three. one two. You're gonna come up. Around you. Okay. Uh, they're going to attack. Okay. So. Do they have pack tactics? They do. Okay. So they both have advantage. So their melee is attack. It's a. Uh, so plus five. Boo. Ugh. Oof. <laughs> metal on metal. Right. So 17. That hits. Okay. 17 for one. First blood. Uh, second blood. Uh, second blood. Oh, that'd be 22. Oh, true. Or I 20, think, 20, modded 20. I think both hit. They both okay, hit. Okay, so both hit. Uh, do, 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 do. You're like, I fucking hate these dogs. And you see Potato, and you're like, oh, oh that one's... Shit. Like, the one's <laughs> eyes are like... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, roll. Okay, so 1d8 plus 3, and then 2d6 fire damage. Oh, God. So 8 plus 7 How plus suck. 3, 18. Okay, that's for the first attack? That's for the first attack. Jesus. Second attack is 5 plus 3, 8... 9, 14. Oh my god. Okay. So. He's almost killed me. Oh, just wait. <laughs> so, hearing that, I'm going to take a couple steps out, pull out my bow, and shoot. Okay. To this do is why you fail. <laughs> for, uh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go all the way up, because I'll know they're there. And then attack with my dagger. Okay. Um, I don't. Do I get. So pack tactics, do I also get? No, it's just it's the only the hound. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, twenty-seven. Oh yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> Can we be level nine? <laughs> okay, no. so that is. It's the post. So this one d four. Not even giving him a five. shot. Fuck. Wait, would he get sneak attack because those are his dogs? That's why I would get it. How? Uh, because if, they're if the enemy. If my ally is um, five feet, yeah. Right. I no, thought no, no, that was if, like if they're. I thought that was like person. If they're engaged with something, and like if he's not, but he's not engaged with them. Yeah, he is because he he just got attacked. Okay, I just it's weird because like I'm engaged with them. Yeah, yeah. They they just both attacked me. How and are they not engaged with me? I got bit by both. And they're my ally, do so. Yeah, I just the yeah. sneak attack. I just I thought it was a different ally. If those are linked to you, I just that's just weird. Yeah. Never mind. No, they're just allies. whatever. Allies and ally. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. So that will be. I'm trying to figure everything out before mm-hmm. we. That's twenty two points. That's what this. Oh, I'm unconscious. Like, so I'm down. <laughs> as you guys are sitting there, you uh, are Kyrian and Valley, and you're like, the fuck, man, and he's like. You both see the dim light of the red go out, and you're like, shit, what are you doing? Do you have anything else? I do. So, I would take... <clears throat> is, is it like a bonus action to take the totem? I'll say it's a bonus action to take it. Okay, so bonus action, take the totem. And tie it. Mm-hmm. So, you see it go down, you, wait a, f- you see, wait a few seconds as you two are eyeing each other, and you see it go back up. The red. And okay. You have an idea of what's going on, and I, you're, I mean, you kind of see, like, behind you, you're like... You're an animal. You see well, the red I, kind I of... I still have very high perception, though, as my perception is still a plus what's four. What's your intelligence, though? He That's keeps the, his mental stats mm-hmm. as B-shape. Yeah. B-shape's 
so overpowered. Polymorph, you change your mental stat. But yeah. Base shape, you keep your mental. Yeah, stats. that's a great it. thing too. Is go ahead and yeah. go ahead and hit me. I'm gonna come right back. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. You you also see the red kind of like dim, and then you hear a few beats, and it comes right back up. Gotcha. So. Okay. So. Thank oh. you. Ah. Uh, Two flags. I'm out. You'll do death saves on yours. We'll see if you can like if you can manage to get a natural twenty, you'll come back up. So, if I hide here on this wall, mm-hmm. am I then also hidden from this side? Like, if them coming out here? Not exactly. So, I can wa- come back here, though. You can go back there, yeah. Okay, so I only use three movement spaces? No, I think you use more than that, because you were by the corner. Mm-hmm. You were at the corner. Two, three, four. Oh, that was all full five. Yeah. Okay. And I already used my bonus action yep. Yep. to pick up the thing, and you and used an action, action to, to attack. Kill me. Yeah, yeah. You have so another you got, attack. But... I, yeah. Can I do any sort of? Um... He has an offhand, but he's not. He, no, no, no. But can so attack. if I'm trying to hide, mm-hmm. there's nothing to hide here, mm-hmm. right? So I'd have to dash, mm-hmm. which I don't you, can't do. you can't do anymore. You, Why? you use your movement and your action and your bonus action. Cunning action. He's a rogue. Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rogue. One, two, three, four, five. How many more here. actions do you have? You but, have four more. <laughs> but they have actions. Well, they have, they have movement still. He has like 45. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Whatever. So, How much more movement do they have? Uh, let's see. They were here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They have 50 feet. So that they have 20 four, you have four, four, four leaf. Four, four leaf. So four left here. So uh, one, two, three. Just to be here. And one, two, three three so they're together okay so as these two hellhounds they're like you're like nice doggies nice doggies nice doggies they both chomp into you and you see absidy and you just goes i don't know do you want to say anything to him before you put him down i told you to look over your shoulder and he just kind of and you just knock to your knees and you're like fuck uh okay so roll your first uh death save Death save. Knockout save. Knockout save. 19. 19. Oh, okay, that's so one. Close. That would have been awesome. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is, if you make all three saves, you come up to, I'll let you roll, like, your hit dice to see if you can come up to, like, a little bit of like healing. Just, like, Whatever. one hit dice? Your regular hit dice, yeah. Right. Okay, Valiant, you're up. Valiant's like... Mm. Wizard Steve's like, this is, this is exciting. Uh, so I'm in, a, like, a, a taverny kind of area yeah. thing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stare at um, Kyrian. Kyrian and go like this, and then I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace and Stealth somewhere. Okay. I'm going to move and Stealth. So drop his Hunter's Mark? Back behind, I guess, Just the, put that on the Tiki area or whatever. Yeah, you have like a bar that you can kind of like duck behind. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> 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 I fainted. Yeah. Good thing we have this fainting couch behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. <sighs> Meow. And yeah, I'll cast Pass Without a Trace, uh, and I'm going to stealth that way. Okay. I'll move myself momentarily. Um, so that's advantage on stealth? That's a plus 10 That's a plus stealth. 10 to stealth. Yeah. That's a 34. <laughs> you do an absidy level. He did a what yeah. now? <laughs> he rolled a thir- 17 plus 10 plus whatever his modifier. 7. 7. Insane. So 34. He went invisible. So when you say you stealth that way, what does that mean? Like you just sneakily walk or you're then hidden? So the shadow, Pass Without a Trace, is, is it's a plus 10 yeah. to my stealth. So I'm going in the shadow. I guess I would wait for, I'll wait for someone to like cross in front of me. Mm-hmm. And then I'll cast it as quickly as possible and kind of like duck into the shadows and behind the tiki. And so you're you're passing the tiki though. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it. You're not gonna take it. Mm-mm. Okay. And but I'm gonna so, just stand so are, there and wait. But are you hidden? I, I'm. Yeah, I get. I don't that, know that, what's the. Because I because I would have had to hide to be hidden, right? Yeah. So if someone were to see you, they would see you. It's only if you're hiding that then they would have to do a. I don't know count, how this right? works. Well, I'm new at this. I would say. Pass without a trace, you get that. When you go behind the bar, I would say you would be able to, I'd be, to hide. I would be hidden. Like in there that are corners moment. of the the bar. Like you wouldn't be able to specifically see where he's at. Mm-hmm. And then if you go over, you wouldn't really be able to like because he's part He'd of. He'd have shadows. to make like a perception check to see if he sees me, and I would roll stealth against that and all right. that stuff. Okay. Correct. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> okay. So I guess I moved and and hid. Like that was part of 
just being behind a wall. Yeah, yeah. 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 So okay. basically, it's like kind of like he started going behind the bar, and then all of a sudden, like the smoke and like shadows started to happen as he went through. Dope. Okay. Um, Thirty-four. Anything, <laughs> insane. anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, Kyrian. Um. Question. Answer. No, I actually I, I answered it myself. That okay. Work. Yeah, never um. Mind. Sorry, I was just trying trying certain things. Um. What to do? What to do? Oh, I have 120 feet of dark vision because of Satan. Shit! Now you know. Satan. I'm gonna pee. Uh, okay. Um. Wow. Thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan. Not Satan. The wheat-based, whatever. <clears throat> I was filling air. All right. Well, I guess what's going on here is I can't really see where you went so i'm just gonna go ahead and since i'm in a wild shape you guys can't really understand me i'm just gonna let out a giant like um like essentially like panther growl mm -hmm. so that way you guys just know that y y well specifically you know that i'm frustrated and i want you to know that i'm frustrated and i think your arrogance is really getting on my fucking nerves <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna leave and turn around and i need to wait for my dm to get back here. Wow, speak of the devil. Wow, God, it's like a, it's, it's crazy. You do like to speak of the devil. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Um, so essentially what I did is I just angrily growled because I just really want, I really want uh, Valian just to know, fuck you and your arrogance. I'm tired. I can't see you right now, so I'm just going to fucking get out of here. Okay. Um, so I move back here and this. 20 feet of movement mm -hmm. um do i see that there's um like wh what do i see directly in front of me uh you see an alleyway that goes right and left okay so i see that there is an opening there yes okay so that was 20 feet of movement right so 25 30 35 have had move it for you 50 okay so that, that's off. my 50 feet of movement mm -hmm. um how long is your vision 60, right? Would that, would that still be the same as my regular 60 feet? Yeah. Okay, so you can see an alleyway that kind of goes into a dead end, and then you see uh, another one of uh, three B-boys like B -boys, kind of like with the boombox, and you see a Wizard Steve totem like this. And it's in Valiant's yellow colors. It's like... Then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to use my action to drop Wild Shape. Okay. Do, 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 so do. there's... There's two more B boys around the B boy totem. Yeah. Okay. There's so many B boys. There's so many B boys. Check. I think it's a bonus action to drop. Actually, it. yeah, it is a bonus action. It's an action to bring it up, a bonus action to drop it. You're right. Yeah, I'm looking at that I'll right just now. Leave it here for yeah, now. Bum, bum, so yeah, because I might end up using that one again. Bum, 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 um. Bum, bum, put it there. And um. Hmm. I. So you have an action. I, no, I do. I, I I do have an action. Um, I'm going to try and communicate with the B boys, and I'm going to be like, are, are are they doing anything? Or are they just kind of just like, like, yo, just break What's dancing? up, my dude? Rappity rapping and rapping and hipping. Bump, 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 bump. I'm just gonna shout, hey, 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 fellas, fellas, hello. Oh, yo, what's up, dude? Uh, that, uh, that little totem that you got behind you there. Yeah. Is that something that, uh, you mind if I take a look at? Oh, yeah, no, this is dope as hell. <laughs> All right, so, um, I guess I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash. You're the man, pointy ear, dude. Action. He has an or my action, sorry, my action to dash. <laughs> I'm, I'm still new, I'm learning. <laughs> to go through and get... Towards the totem. Okay. But I'm That's just looking at it. Feet right there. I'm not. Okay. I'm not touching it. Okay. Go ahead and roll. A. Let's see what it is because you're looking at it. Because <coughs> everyone else is like, I'm gonna take it. Um. Go ahead and roll a uh, investigation check on it. Investigation check. Yep. That's only okay. Eight. Ooh. 
Looks all right. Cool. Then uh, I don't have an action, so I can't pick it up. So okay, I, that part that was really what I was kind of. I, I can't pick it up. I can't get do anything. Yeah, just be there. They're like, you're weird, dude. <laughs> dance, da, da, it's okay. I really da, appreciate da, your da, dance moves, da, and da, I hope that they benefit da. me positively uh, at some point. Yeah, dude, Cabbage Patch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Absolutely, you're up. Okay, so to tell them. So you said I can't give them a reaction, right? Right. But c- complex commands. Yeah. Complex commands would be something you would have to say in Infernal. Mm-hmm. And you can give it to them. But it's just you would have to say it at, like, a regular volume. I can't stealth that. I wouldn't say, once again, I, I might be a little too OP. Okay, that's fair. Um, let's see. So I would, I would know that... that you're in here that you went that way. Mm-hmm. You didn't see me. You don't I have 120 feet. You yeah, but you were still over in that when corner. He went, I've, never, yeah. I've, I've never come out past that wall. Uh, yeah, you, oh, you're right. Okay, so yeah. I don't know you're there. Right. I just know that it's a thing. But I saw him run that way, mm-hmm. so I will... Actually, you probably wouldn't have seen me run that way because you're behind a wall right now. And he was all the way but, here. but you were here, right? And you're behind a wall right here. Oh, right, because you did it after I yeah. was there. Okay. Then I will... Okay. You know well, where I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you see him, he's like... <laughs> it's that scene in, what is it, Yes Man, where he's like... And the fly's like... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Two, okay. three, four, five. Oops. And uh, I just want to... Like, check out the room. Okay. As you look in, you see a wizard Steve, bartender Steve, like, a, And you see on the end of the bar, you see uh, your color, Tiki. Steve. Okay. So I see that. Uh, these, they're going to come up with me too. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They can be on me because I have halfling nimbleness. Yeah. So 35. Um, I will instruct them to come around right here. And I don't. I haven't done action or anything, right? No, just move. No, you just moved. So, bonus action dash 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And cunning action dash 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. All right. And that's it. Roll your death, your knockout save. Nat 20. <gasps> oh. Go ahead, roll two hit dice for me as you come back up. What am I? Two, I, think, eight, I think it's ten. ten. I think I'm eight. Are you eight? Yeah, as a, as a monk, I think I'm an eight. Uh, I believe you are too, yeah. yeah. Eight. Ooh. Seven. So plus, as, wow. Plus, three on, uh, plus constitution yeah. for both. Plus two, plus two. So eight, seven, plus four. Nineteen. Twelve, Nineteen. There you go. Oh. So, <laughs> Piotr, you're like... <gasps> And you kind of like wake up and you look over to the left and you just you hear pitter pattering and you hear running around and you're like I'm back in this. And no one else knows you're back in fucking it. Fucking Um, I'll use half my movement. I'll use 25 movement or yep. 27.5 movement to get out. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not mathematicians here. It's okay. No. Uh, and I see that the still the same two are lit up, right? Correct. Yours and uh, the one Absidy took. Can I do just a general perception to see if I hear anything? Like, Go ahead like and roll what direction anybody's at? 19? Uh, 19. So 19, you kind of hear echoing from the the west or from that direction. You hear, you're the man, dude! Da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. Um, then I'm gonna run... <laughs> so I'll say that's my full movement. I just moved twenty-five. Okay. Um, action. I'm gonna dash. Oh man. Twenty. Do I see that way? So you kind of can look in and you see this bar and you see bartender Steve. He's cleaning a glass and he's like, "A." Hey. Or, um. So both of you see this as he kind of just does a 
A. And that, but they don't know to who. They don't know who it is. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Monks. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut the corner. 50 That's a good idea. And then, as my bonus action, mm -hmm. for the hell of it, I'm going to tap my staff on the ground twice and cast Pass Without a Trace on myself with a key point. With a couple key points. There we go. <laughs> I am, uh... Go ahead, put put the, the ring yeah. over you. And that's it. I mean, this is a good mission for you. You got two really super sneaky guys. Yeah. Uh, so your peener must be harder. Harder. My so, peed. So you did bonus action dash? I did, uh, movement was half a movement in there. My action dash. Oh, And bonus okay. action okay. pass without a trace. Gotcha. Okay. Then that's it. Gosh, you're so fast. Yeah. Valiant. I have 55 movement. That's insane. Yeah. You're up. Oh, my guy. Um... I am going to stay Hiaden. Okay. Hiaden. Um, and I'm going to try and, like, tie off a, my string on my bow so I can still use it. Like, try and tie it. Try to tie it? Mm. Try to fix it? Yeah. Go ahead and... Just get a rig it for now. Roll, because you need a lot of pounds of pressure to tie a bow string together like that. Um, go ahead and roll a strength check to see if you can retie it like that. Oh, that'd be bad for me in this situation. Eight. So as you start like putting it together, you have a pretty good knot, and you kind of loop it, and the oh, weight of the bow just zero. <laughs> That's a save. Oh That's shit! A check. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so it just <laughs> you're like, good try. and I will stay hit. Actually, I'm gonna move back into the corner. If you could just move me back yeah. into the corner. Do I need to roll a stealth for that? No. no. Just, okay. I, you gonna be fine? 34 was <laughs> Don't worry, big no, guy. No, you should do it, just to make sure that you don't roll a natural one. <laughs> You're invisible. My natural one would still be 18. It's still a natural one. It's still a natural Fuck! one. That's why. I mean, I'll roll it if you want me to. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just being a dick. You don't it. have to. That's up to the DM. Nah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're hidden there? Yes. Okay. I'd be like, shit! <laughs> Okay. He uh, is the shadows. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. That's what Pass Without a Trace does. Kyrian. <clears throat> yes. Uh, all right. So um, uh, I'm going to just kind of look around real quick, see if I see that there's anything around this totem that um, might be unkind to me if I pick it up. You're right. Look for that the last turn. Well, no, I was just. You look for if something turn. was up with it. Yeah. So then I'll just. Uh, you can see if anyone's behind you besides the bean boys that are kind of dancing. Yeah. I guess I'll take a look behind my shoulder, make sure we're okay. Mario's and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take the totem. Okay. Go ahead and roll a con save. Con save. Yes. All right. That's not fantastic. It's a seven. Okay. So as you wrap your hands around this totem, you're. <laughs> Your figure starts dissipating. I need you to roll a d4 for me. Uh, what is that? Something I don't know. I rolled a 1. Okay. And as you roll a 1, uh, Pat, if you can move Kitty into that little corner right next to Piotr. Like oh, this <gasps> one right there in the okay. corner. He's going like, to go. No, so he's going like, to be there. Mm -hmm. So move Kitty in. Move Kitty in over there. So over here. Keep going. In the In the pocket? Yep, in the pocket. So you kind of show up in this pocket, and you're like, fudge. And you look at your hands, no totem. All right. Well. And, I'm just and he sees me there. You stealth. No, didn't he you? didn't. Oh, well, he did. I, I just used Pass Without a Trace. You kind of look, and you see, <laughs> I haven't stealthed you see yet. Piotr like, fuck. Fuck. Okay, what well, I'm going to do then. Go ahead. Hello. Wait, wasn't your action to take the thingy? Wouldn't Ooh. that require an action? It was an action to take the thingy. Okay. Oh, didn't we say bonus action? It was, it was a bonus, bonus action. I, know, I thought it was a thingy. bonus action yeah, for Rogi McRogerson. Uh, this is a bonus action to just, just grab it. Yeah. As long as your bonus action, you can interact with objects. Like, if you were taking it and throwing it, that's an action. Or like if I was stealing it from you because you're resisting. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So I was passing I'm out. just asking for clarifications. <laughs> Are you going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, in that case, um. I'm going to turn into a kitty. <laughs> what I will do wow. then. Hmm. You also know Absidy has two podums. I do. I do know that. Um, what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and take one step forward. 
So I think the next episode is going to be the Berserker one. Yep. We're not going to win anything. Uh, actually, yeah, I was going to be one step forward, so that oh. way I'm just like, yeah, like 10 feet back of you. All right. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going, yeah, that'll work. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and s- like see me just kind of like take my hands up like this, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a... <laughs> And I need you to go ahead and make a con save. What are you casting? I'm casting Poison Spray. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Good. Not bad. 18. Um, okay, you're successful. So you see uh, Kyrian kind of move his arms in his archaic motion, and you're like, oh no, this is the Poison Spray, isn't it? And <laughs> he just goes, Poison Spray! And you just kind of like... <laughs> Is it, is it half damage on no, a No, it's not. It's a cantrip. So yeah, cantrip, since it's so. a cantrip, he is a... Uh, you, you're lucky this time, all right, mate? You're lucky. So you just kind of, <laughs> like, sidestep onto the wall, and you just see this, like, sludge go... Like, in front of you. Don't slip on it, all right? It's a little bit messy. <laughs> we'll you know what? How lucky I am slip on it. <laughs> <laughs> now come in here and slip on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it is now Absidy's turn. Okay. Um... Uh, Move up here, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, check for traps. Uh, go ahead and roll investigation for me. What is it with the threes? Nah, you're good. Okay, everything's great. Uh, then I will bonus action take it. Okay, roll a, uh, roll a deck save. A thousand. Uh, 25. So, as you kind of pick up this, this Steve and, uh, Bartender Steve's like, good job, dude. You kind of hear this creaking again, and you see this net kind of come down, slamming towards the bar, and you jump out of the way as you see these spikes on this bar, on this net. Oof. And then uh, no one else is around, but if you're around, you might be able to see a little bit of it, Valiant. You see the blue light up on the uh Well, would I see him take it? Yeah. You would see his hands, like, like, grab it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you you hid right? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm hidden in the corner, big time. Okay, super duper hidden, super duper hidden. Okay, so last time I moved in five, I uh, used bonus action to take mm-hmm. and checking for traps. So I have one action left. Mm-hmm. Okay, so dash five, ten, fifteen, <coughs> twenty, twenty-five. Play. Um. Kind of pat one, f- two on the head. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really need them to move. Yeah, I'll just have them behind me. Like, looking behind me as I look this way. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> That's all I can do. Piotr. We will go down next time. And I will run this way. Like damn, he's fast. And as you kind of turn the corner, you see can is no, there? There's anything? a wall here. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a wall. There's a half wall. Yeah, you can see half city. All right. So you're like <laughs> half wall is all you need. Fifty-fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm assuming I see this there. Yep. And you With see the B- <laughs> two b-boy like high top, like kid and play. They're like they're doing the the foot thing where they're like. Going in the corner. I'm a. It's a jammy jam. I'm gonna go to it. Mm. 10, mm-hmm. 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh hey, what's up, dude? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Hello, dudes. Ah, uh, um, uh. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, make a con save. Because I know that mine is gone missing. Off my belt. Mm. So good. Twenty. Cool. Not natural. So as you grab it, you feel this pulse, and your body starts. Uh, changing and then are dissipating and it comes back in as you grab hold and your armor starts growing glowing this yellow and you all see you see the yellow light up okay and then I will go uh, 35 40 45 50 and just uh, kind of like hide that on the corner okay and uh, that's it all right Back in the game. Uh, Back in the game. Valian, you're up, my guy. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, I will. Uh, so I want to move stealthily. What can I do about that? Is that uh, movement 
halved. For self? For moving stealthily. I don't... I, I don't... No. Genuinely don't. You know. just gotta roll a stealth to see if anyone will notice you. I, okay. think, it, I think it is. Oh, is it half? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're... If you're being, stealth moving... Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Then, yeah. I'm quietly moving along the way. Go ahead, roll stealth. So, I will do that. Uh, 23. You're good. So, broken. Pretty bad. <laughs> he rolled really bad, and he still got a 23. He rolled a, what, 13? Six. I rolled a six. six. <laughs> plus his stealth. Plus my, as a plus seven, 10. plus ten. He has a plus 17 right now. Okay. So, I will stay there, and that will be my, uh... I could also also take my action as well to to do the same. Should I roll another stealth or just use that one? You should be fine. Okay, so I'll just go another fifteen. All right, that's my that's uh, my turn. Okay, Kidian. <sighs> All right. Da, 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 da. What I'm going to go ahead and do then. Is let's see, what's my speed here? Now, Kitty, and as you go out, you see all four lights are lit up. <clears throat> now, just since we're close to being level, is there anything that I see around the corner? Since obviously now I know that the totem is gone. Well, you do know where the yellow totem is. Um, unfortunately, Piotr isn't all the way around the, what you call it, the, the, the alleyway. Like, if he was, like, looking over, you might be able to see it, or if he was right there. But you do know someone's over there, obviously. Okay. You just don't know where. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled so bad. <laughs> but I didn't realize that I'm not that far off you. You have a plus 17, I have a plus 16. Weak. Okay. It's not 17. See I know. That's insane. I know that I keep saying that, but it blows my mind. You're at a 10. Yeah, but not 17. That's true. It just seems like you everything will, that I, I want know. to do right now just doesn't seem to want to be done. All right, so in that case, what I'm going to do is you're going to see me take my staff again, mm-hmm. like I did when I wild shaped. Only this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it at that walkway right there, and I'm going to bang it three times on the ground, and you're just going to see these tumultuous spikes shoot out of the ground and I've cast spike growth Nice. and the area that is going to be growthed uh, <laughs> do you have a, a different color do we have like um, a card we can put down oh that works so, uh, it's actually camouflaged it looks natural I have spike growth as well. Oh, okay. The so transformation of the it. ground is camouflaged to look natural. Nice. Any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a wisdom check against your spell save DC to recognize the terrain is hazardous before entering it. You cool. have to look for it. So I don't hear anything or nothing. Like, it you, just happens. You just kind of, you don't hear it. Good and to that, know. That would take up the 20 feet that the spell works in, correct? Yep. Just because I'm just clarifying because of the fact that the, it's a little overdrawn there. So. Yeah, no, you're okay. good. Nice. Nice. All right, Abazadididi. Oh, it's me now. Um, okay, so I wouldn't see that. So I'll take a step out, and now I would see him, right? Yeah, you could see him kind of in the in the corner, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. well, who does he see? Does he see you. me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who who does who does he see? <laughs> who who? Um. Okay. So what I'll I'll do is I'll run up and sneak attack because he wouldn't have seen he can't see me right because he's faced that way. Yeah, I would say so. Um, hmm. do have- if you're trying to be stealthy, I would say roll a stealth to make sure he doesn't hear you coming. Okay. Because oh, and mine would just be passive perception, right? Mm-hmm. What's that? You have to beat my passive perception, is what I was oh, okay. checking on. Uh, fifteen. Uh, my passive perception's a seventeen. Ooh. So as you start pitter pattering up, he looks around, and there you are. You don't get your sneak attack. Okay. So then I will just uh, do. <laughs> 
When when do you Oz? How like how close would I have gotten before you heard me? Because I imagine I wouldn't get all the way up. You probably get to about there. Okay. And then I would turn. <laughs> so he turns. Um, as you look at him, you see his armor is glowing like yellow, turquoise, blue, yellow, turquoise, blue. Okay. Yellow, oh. Or red, turquoise, blue, red, turquoise, blue. So seeing him, um, he's already seen me. Mm-hmm. So I will, I will yell, dogs, but in abyssal. Okay. So or infernal, right? Infernal, sorry. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. So they come running. Okay. He stinks of sulfur, by the way. Stink of sulfur. (laughs) And then I'm going to yell in Infernal, because my character speaks Infernal. Okay. Hold on. (laughs) Yeah, they're going to attack you. (laughs) (laughs) Hear me out. I thought we were fucking mates. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Okay, so let's see how this goes. Obviously, he shows no fucking mercy, apparently. Do nat 20. Oh, Oh, that'll hit. Um... 15 and a 15. Those do not Which, hit. Well, not 15. They're 15 plus. Natural 15s? Natural 15s. So, so modern 20s? Yep. Uh, where is it? It's plus. Oh, no, yeah. So modded 20s. Uh-huh. Okay. So. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. So for the the crit, does the fire damage also crit? It's all dice rolls. Yes. It's all dice rolls. Okay. So I'm <laughs> three of these? Yeah. Uh, eight plus six plus five plus three. Oh, give him a eight, so six chance, is man. fourteen plus five is nineteen plus mm-hmm. three is twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, eight plus six fourteen, 14. plus three seventeen. 17. You still up? Yep. Last okay, one. Great. Five plus two is seven. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> plus three plus three. So as they come up, he's 13. like, "I thought we were fucking mate." <laughs> You just did 49 damage in one round. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Without Can we be it. level 9? Um, no. <laughs> and I whisper, sorry, because he's my favorite. Uh, okay, so I've done a little bit he's of movement. Favorite. And, okay, so I see that that's lit up, right? Mm-mm. I don't see that. Oh, that's you lit see, up. yeah, yeah, you see all of them are lit up. Okay, so I know that I have three, so the last one... You think taken. you think it's oh. Valiant? What? Because Val, you saw you Peter fall. Me. No, I, I'm just saying I know someone has. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You would suspect you Valiant because it's because no he one, wasn't glowing. He, you don't know that I'm up. He never said anything. Also, but I don't know where it is. My point is oh, that yeah. I think someone has it. Yeah, so but I'm you would gonna, think I have it. You don't. Think, yeah, because you think he's that's dead what in the corner somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Does that and that drops this right? Yeah, because it's mm-hmm. concentration. Concentration. Oh yep. shit! Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to there. use the rest of my movement. So what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Dash here, mm-hmm. and then use my action to ready an attack if anyone walks by. Okay. Uh, the rest of these dogs will just come over. Do I hear any of this? Yeah, you would hear people drop, and you would hear the. I thought we were mates. <laughs> so I know something happened on the other yep. side. All right. Or not. Sorry, I want them out. Okay. All right. Piotr. Okay. Uh, my vote. Knowing that there's a commotion on the other side, I know that there's people there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stealthily peek around the corner. Don't see anything. Okay. So that's 510, right? Because it's half stealth. Yeah. Stealth, yeah. half 15, 20? That's gone. That spell? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah we're just figuring but he, he's trying to be quiet. So I'm trying to be quiet. Half. Oh, right, because it's But half. I don't know okay. where you are. I just know that there's some a commotion over there. So do I see anything yet? No, he's behind that wall. 2530? Oh, shit. Right? If you peek over the wall, you oh. see absolutely you're like oh, okay. attack. He does have so, uh if you're behind would, the yeah. thing, you have partial coverage while you try to attack. Yeah, if I you're mean, right here, you would have partial <coughs> cover. I mean, yeah. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I don't know that he's there, so I'm gonna keep stealthing thirty five forty, and I'm assuming right there I know that he's there. Right. And be like There you are and And as you look at Piotr, his 
armor is glowing yellow. And I see that your armor is going to, so I'm going to take my quarter staff and I'm going to spin it over my head and slam him. He does have his reaction. He was waiting for someone. Ah, to so go ahead and do your, your reaction attack. Does that give me like Under- advantage or anything, or no. just normal? Okay, no. that's what I thought. Dope. You already killed me once. Uh, it's the one, it so lucky. <laughs> that is a 16. Wow, oh, that's my AC. Okay. Do, do, do. Boop. Two plus five, so seven. Okay. I'm still up. <laughs> ah. Now you may use your staff. All right. Hurt uh, me. I'm gonna s- hurt me. Spin the <laughs> spin the staff over my head. Fuck me. And fuck me up. It's gonna. Slam right into Absidy. Mm-hmm. Goosh. That's the first attack. That's a natural 17 plus 6. Ooh, yeah. I think that hits. Yeah. So I'm just going to roll for the other one, too. Uh, no. Oh, uh, just two attacks? I have two attacks. As a, nice. Yeah, so Hell, the, oh, Monk. That's right. Yeah, so Hell this yeah, one will be... Yeah. And he has Flurry of Blows. He does. So he has like 12 attacks. <laughs> <laughs> so damage will be five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to spend a key point to do the stunning strike. Go for it. So I, do it, baby boy. I need you to roll a... Where are you? Kawhi. A con save. Super kawaii. Is this one of them? Is, is uh, minus so, because he's a good... So stunning strike character. is uh, when you hit with a melee mm. attack, you spend one key point to make the target stunned until the next turn if it fails its con save. Okay. So if you fail your con save, you are stunned. Are you good round. aligned or neutral? I feel like you guys are neutral. I'm assuming. That's a good call. What are we? I would say neutral. You guys are going out for your own interest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but good point. Definitely good point. Okay. I missed. Because I, I have disadvantage on, on good characters. On good char- uh, characters. That are, but that's yeah. when it's oh, a was a disadvantage or is it minus I'm assuming, oh, I it was a I'm assuming I would be neutral anyways because I used to be a criminal and now yeah. I'm a... Exactly. Yeah. So, You're good. Yeah, so just con save. Roll your con, baby. Okay. What do I have to beat? A 14. 14. 20. 20. Mod okay. 20. That's okay. My second attack, I'm going to hit you with a staff again. That's a nat one. So that one will miss. Okay. Um, and then for my bonus action, I am going to... Run away! <laughs> for my bonus action, I'm going to kick. What? You don't have to kick high. I don't have to kick high, but... 13, 14. That's by uh, unarmed strike. Is that 14? Yeah, 14 to 16. Hit? 16. Damn. Okay. So um, you kind of like spin your staff and you let it go and it just clink, clink, clink clatters behind him. And you kick and it's just you shy it a little bit too high and it just kind of grazes the top of Absidy's head. Fair enough. As he tries to do that. <laughs> so that was 40 movement, right? Yep. Okay. 45, Deuces. 50, 55. Yep. And uh, that's all I can do. Okay. Valian. God. You're up. Yeah. Um, you kind of hear a commotion of you here. I thought we were... Pfft. Actually, I'm going to spend another key point yeah? to do oh. patient defense. Do it. <gasps> I love that. No, you're good. Yeah. What's that do? Uh, it automatically gives me the dodge action. So I'm ready for any attack that comes oh, at me. Oh, nice. Yeah, our attack rolls at, dis- at disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you hear, I thought we were mates. Pfft, no mercy. And then you hear uh, Piotr like, oh, you're here. So you hear like a shit ton of commotion going right outside the bar, and you just see bartender Steve like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Can eh? I interest you in a Shasta? I'm gonna <laughs> a nice I'm champagne cola. Still gonna stealth. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, uh, using my movement and action. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to try and be stealthed in this general area in the in the shadows. You good? Uh, should I roll? A stealth. Yeah, go ahead. Sweet. So I just, I just at plus. I, I should say, should I just not? Hopefully, just natural roll. one. Exactly. That's a four, but it's still twenty-one. Yeah. So no one hears you as you kind of move to the side. Uh, go ahead, Kidian, and roll your knockout save. Eighteen. Okay, you're good. Uh, knockout saves are rolling very well tonight. They are. Hopefully, this <laughs> don't isn't. jinx this for the next two days. This is right? foreseen. <laughs> no. I said tonight. 
I'm gonna put the curse on all of your dice as well. Oh, bad sleeping. juju. No, stay away. <laughs> you only have two sets of dice. I'm gonna put the Maloikis on it. Uh, Absidy. I up, my guy. Okay. Um. So if I wanted to, well, a couple questions. Sure. To get into the circle, mm -hmm. just have to pass through the barrier. You would have to get yeah past. Just have to cross the threshold, right? Basically. Okay. And if I wanted to try to just take it off him, mm -hmm. would that, that be, would be sleight of hand? But yeah, I would say, mm, you know what? Because it's on him, it would probably be a strength check. Strength he's check. also doing patient defense. So you see him and he kind of lurches back. And he has his hand out, like palm out. He's ready to fucking party. Okay. And does that, is, is that just the first attack that happens? Ooh. I will read it. It's been a while since I've used patient defense. Where are you? You spend one key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action on your turn. So I think it's any action in that next. So it's yeah. I think it's any action. But like the the first, it kind of like uncanny dodge where the first one is the dodge reaction, and then after. No, because this isn't a rea this isn't reaction based. He's he's so literally prepping to be attacked. So any attack that comes at him, I would assume. I don't know. Oh, okay, like, again, let's look up the dodge assumption. action. Yeah, let's find out. I have, I have dodge right here. Until the start of your next turn, any attack roll against you has this advantage if you can see the attacker and your deck saving throws have advantage. You lose this benefit if your speed is at zero and you're incapacitated. There so any go. attack okay. roll. So any Custom attack, DM. Any attack, any attack that I can yeah. see. This is like the second time I've used it. <laughs> hey! Yeah. I've had it this whole time. Yep. Okay. Ta -da. Then um, what I'll do is I'll look at the, the pups and just command them to go so they will at the same at the same time, come up and just g -g 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 pounce attack. So they get pack, so it neutralizes the the, the negative. So it's a straight roll. It's a straight roll. Okay. Straight roll hey, it's for not each advantage. of them. Oh, wouldn't it be just a straight roll for the first attack? No, it's every attack okay. roll. Yeah, it's yeah, every yeah. attack roll. That's what the dodge action does. Okay, so that was eight. Miss. Ten. Miss. So you see them, and they're both going at and. He's like kicking him off with his shins and his forearms, and he's still there. He's like, "Let's go, Kimasabi." Okay, okay. <laughs> You're like, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Still, 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 still. You still have. Oh, oh no! I, I trust me. I have plenty of things that. I'm like, Alien's nips are like. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Could cut glass with these things. <laughs> Um, it's true. Then what I... So that would be their action. I just have... Do I have anything Oakland useful? Knights. Oakland Knights. I know what I'm doing. So I'm so excited. excited. I think I like your character better than I like mine. And I <laughs> love my character. I'm having like fun just watching you guys play these characters. No, I'm having a real good time doing this. I'm just upset that I haven't got... I like... Same thing happened. Like, hey, chance. <laughs> it happened, man. No, like... The beast Carlos shape is was my dark bullshit. Horse. The oh the fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, like realistically, I could have and should have killed you, and I didn't, and I'm upset about no it. No sympathy, hey. We said this all is cutthroat, baby, bra. This is cutthroat. No, not baby. you. Oh, I thought. Yeah, you yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I hold him back. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can hold him back. Like, no, 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 that was my shit. mistake. Because I was like, I should save my spell slots. Mm. Old oh. day. No. Old day. Oh, I do have good. spells. That's right. That is why you fail. What you doing? Mm, okay, I'm just gonna do two Eldritch Blasts, so that's one for each. Right? Okay. Advantage, one that's disadvantage it. roll. Just, yeah, 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 but one both. disadvantage roll for each. Can you catch an Eldritch Blast? <laughs> I don't think so. it says it says projectile, <laughs> so like I don't dope. know how that would work. That'd be really funny. I'm curious though. I'm gonna What'd look. What you got? The lowest seventeen. That one will hit. Seventeen was the lowest out of the four rolls. No, no. So the first one failed. <laughs> oh, okay. But the second <laughs> so one. It's only one. This is deflect the missile. What is considered a missile? That's like a DM roll. Like an arrow or okay. a dagger. Because I'll deflect kind of, it. That's any kind of tangible. Uh, yeah, I, I would it's assume force that damage. Would be not yeah. Magic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That'd be so, so one overpowered. Hit. Like you yeah, grab a fire okay. uh, chuck it. Eight damage. Okay. I'm still up. Um. No, I don't get sneak attack on that. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah, fam. Because it's not. A, it's not. A, it's not <laughs> it's, an it's massive. It's a massive spell. You're <laughs> like light. I didn't even see it. Wait, hello? Whoa. Hello? Are you there? Oof. Oof. Are you there, Margaret? Oof. I'm not looking great. But, okay. okay. It's your turn. 
It's my turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to snap some necks. X Y Z and take my staff and stat and your staff's like, behind was behind X Y Z in them when you got that one with the staff. What? Because you did, threw it. You hit oh, it with. Throw it. You hit it. Remember, you tried to spin it and strike down. I spin it and str- oh, did I lose the you, staff? You had the. I, had it clattered one. behind. It oh, slipped out of okay, your hands that's fine. Clink, clink. Um, that's fine. I'll take. Shit. Okay, I'll do them unarmored or unarmed. That's fine. Okay, it's the same amount of he's, damage anyway. He's gonna punch the yeah, fuck out of your dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop by maneuver. Well, since XYZ is next to me, I'm gonna like bring my elbow down onto his head. Okay. And that'll be a 15 to hit. 15 hits. You hear a satisfying. <laughs> It's not the AC. Mm. Oh, wow. That's five damage on him. Okay. This is X- XYZ? XYZ. Okay. And then to... What is it? One, two? Is that one, the other two. one? To one, two, I'm going to attempt to uppercut him in the snout with my other hand. That's a 14 plus six, 20. Yep. That's a six damage. <laughs> and with my movement, I'm going to step away. Attack of opportunity. Uh, mobile. Uh, if I do a attack on someone, it cancels out the reaction. That reaction because you're in. Yeah. That's why I tag right. both because now neither one of them can use the reaction <laughs> on me. Nice. Uh, so that's hard nips. Hard. Nips. Can I move through here or no? Yeah, you can move through there. Okay, I just didn't know if we were allowed in it. No, yeah, you can okay. go through it. So that's five. Just kidding, you dissipate and you're dead. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Again. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, and so, then. Come and get me, boys. Uh, <laughs> bonus action. Nah. Nah. That's it. That's all I could do. Oh, actually, I'll do it diagonal then. Can I, like, pull myself here instead? Okay. Right. You're an adult. That's it. <laughs> am I? I mean, you're older <laughs> than I am. You're ancient. <laughs> but you moisturize, so you look great. Uh, That's Valian, it? you're up. <gasps> Okay. You kind of see this like, and you just see Piotr book it, and you're like, I fucking hate how fast he is. I fucking, I hate it, but I love God, it. God, so, God, I respect it's so you. fucking great. Uh, okay, so I will. So now you can assume, because you can see Absidy in them as you kind of peek your head 10, over. 10, 15, uh, still stealthing, and I will try again to get my. Uh, the bow oh. to, to, to tie. Okay, go ahead and roll a strength for me again. Or, what was it? Strength. 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 It was cocked. Uh, seven. Because that's much better. So you're like, it was come on, man. Uh, and I'll roll for my stealth. Uh, 27. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> Kidian. Success. 13. Okay. 13. One more success so far, so and we'll be back up. Okay. Absolutely. I like this. Yeah. You having fun? <clears throat> nothing planned. I had nothing planned. <laughs> I was just like, you guys are going to fight each other. Do it. <laughs> I haven't done Figure out how you want to fight each other. Exactly. <laughs> um, so how does passive perception work when, like, running around? You, it's like, your I know character. I him, yeah, it's your character hearing the different movements and whatnot so if they're trying to be sneaky if they're not trying to you could hear them and look at them running yeah but if they're being sneaky they're making the effort to not be heard so if it's anything that's that's lower than your passive or meets it you can hear that movement you can hear them moving so if i was running past here Mm -hmm. would i see him like at this point or how does how does that work so no because you wouldn't unless you're like like effortlessly looking looking to your right i would say you wouldn't be able to see it Okay. So then I will move Absidy up here. <clears throat> okay. That's my movement. Okay. Um, and I don't see anything. I don't no, see anyone you don't see looking. Dick. So uh, I command the dogs to just search. Okay. So they're going to go off on their own and try to find anyone. Whoever. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they get they have 50, so that's 10 squares, right? Yep. 5, 10, they're 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, mm-hmm. and 5, 10. So I, I would I've, I would have seen him run this yeah, way, right? You can, so you 10, know that he could. 15, he 20, go 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So they're looking. Would, um, would he notice? Roll investigation for me. Okay. How, how do we do that with... The hounds. He has this. It, it's, the it's, it's, off, it's off of wisdom, right? 
Yeah, let me tell, uh, I'll verify that for you. Okay. Because they have a plus five perception. Is Investigation is intelligence, yes. Oh, it's intelligence? Oh, damn. And it's also one, two. He just looks stupid. <laughs> but they're, they're both a six. <laughs> so that's a minus two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. imagine him as a bulldog. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> And you just see, like, this dumb... Like, this is the one you don't like the most. Because the other one's respectable. But this one's This just, one's just, like, you see this, this one's like, dumpy. <laughs> dumpy. Dumpy. <laughs> Husky, just, like, a little brisket. And you see, like, a little puddle of just drool, like... You okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so little brisket will take his, his last step. Brisket. <laughs> not knowing anything. So, I have not used any of my actions. Nope. Correct. So... I will use my action to let's see if I get no because I'm, I'm safe here. I'm going to use my action to just if I s ready my bow mm -hmm. and if I see anyone in the uh, okay in, in my line of sight. If you see any okay. Yeah so anyone on that side I just boop. Perfect. Be specific be, be specific specific uh, which you were Piotr <laughs> You see this Obviously, just I, I don't, I don't, I don't like, know this, so um, yeah. yeah, I see this dumb dog that I can't stand, and I'm going after the dog. Fuck it. So, go ahead and take your attack of opportunity. Well, would he get one considering he's facing away? No, uh, no, no. He's talking he about had it. his reaction. Oh, yeah. He had his action. Gotcha, gotcha. Held. Sorry, I, I missed that. Uh, thirteen. Oh, 13 just misses. misses. So you see, what the fuck missiles do it? I'm sorry. Oh, no, it has to hit. I, it's a hit. It I'm misses. just so, I'm waiting, so for, bad. I'm waiting for I him know. to fucking catch it like Loki <laughs> and just throw it. So Don't you see so this awesome. arrow like whiz by over one two's head and you look to the left and there's Absidy with, darn it. <laughs> ah, gee heck. And then do what you were going to do. Fuck. See, seeing that though. He's gonna suplex this dog, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I'm, German suplex it. Uh, I'm gonna use my first action to kick one, two in the back, on the butt. Okay. I'm gonna kick him in the butt. Ooh, 11. Nope. 11 misses, that's fine. He still doesn't get a reaction to me. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, and I'm coming after you with attack number two. Coming after you, bitch. Fuck him up. Ugh, oh, 11. Oh. That's fine. I'm using Flurry of Blows. Do it. Uh, no, you know what? I'm just going to use my bonus action to punch him <laughs> in the face. Punch him hard. <laughs> he deserves it. Not the hopefully, face. Hopefully this works. Natural 14 plus six, 20. Oh, 16. Not, right in my face. All over my so face. And that chest. is a... Seven damage. Okay. And I'm using my last key point to do stunning strike. All right, let's do it. Con, right. con save. Do that con, con save. save, baby. We're all rooting against you. Yeah, I know. Lucky? No, not lucky. Uh, con save tw ten. Fails. Fail. So you are stunned. So stunned. You Until... see him kind of like step back, and he smacks you, and you're like, ah, oh, my face. And then you see this whoosh, hits you in the chest, and you're like. <gasps> And you can't catch your breath as you're like, oh. and you're paralyzed for until the end of my next turn. <laughs> well, then if your next turn, <laughs> yeah, okay. Buddy. Uh, he's just gonna go yoink, yoink, <laughs> yoink. Bye. <laughs> That's the thing. I've already used my bonus action on your next turn. on your next turn, though. I know. You but I had another person. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna Valiant, do. Valiant, you're up, and you, you see stunned, this. You boy. see like, choo, 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 and you're like, now's my chance. <laughs> Fuck yes. So I will one, two. Am I? Oh no, he's behind a wall. So I have to come here. Yep. Three. Mm -hmm. And you so see the shadow feet. like come out, and you're like, and you see Valiant this whole fucking time. You look at him, and you're like, what the fuck? And you're just like, great. <laughs> I always do all the grunt work. What would you like to do? If I attack him, is it? Does what? 
does stunning strike stunning strike do anything? He stays stunned until the, stunned, the end of my next turn. Regardless, he stays stunned. There's no like I don't get like advantage or anything. I think you get uh, yeah. He's he's stunned, so you get it's an auto crit, isn't it? I, that's paralyzed. Does he's, it say on your famous DM? Screen? If it's stunned, stunned. I think stunned is different than paralyzed. stunned. A stunned damage. creature so is we're incapacitated. <laughs> Uh, can't move and can't speak, uh, only faltering. The creature automatically fails strength, dex, saving throws, attack rolls against the creature have advantage. So you have advantage, not auto crit. <clears throat> auto crit, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's three paralyzed. times now that you've used it. <laughs> yes, three. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Advantage, uh, on, attack advantage oh, yeah. on attack rolls. Advantage on attack rolls. We'll oh, yeah. see what happens. Would you tomorrow. like me to attack this little tiny nugget for you? You're the noble. It is your goal. Uh, I'll pull out the long sword. And I'm going to... <laughs> Just <tease> up. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, and that's not great. But that's an advantage. That's worse. 11 was the first attack. This is... Uh, I'm two-handing, by the way. You're just so excited. You're like, fuck. <laughs> I'm so excited. And you see this giddiness in Valiant. Uh, that's a 15. Let's see if you crit. That's a 21. Oh. 21 hits. So that one hits, yeah. Okay. You fucking... Get it. So... And you can't uncanny dodge. That it. is yeah. nine. Oh, he's, he's, he's nine done. straight? Nine or points. Uh, yeah, it's cool. just nine. And you just damage. cleave right into the side of Absidy's shoulder as you slowly pull this blade back out. Uh, and I've used... So that was your action. That was my action. I've used 15 points, or 15 movement. So now I will go back to where I was. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And... We have a, a, an ability, a feature trait as our elves. We can, uh, sh we have profi uh, blah, 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 blah. You can attempt to hide even when you're only lightly obscured. Okay. So, or I guess I would go, like, here and try and hide See behind that hide wall. By. Okay. What do I have? Is it, like, stealth at, like, disadvantage, or what would I have to do? Um, I would say stealth at disadvantage. That's a good point. Because they're looking at you, but you get that plus seventeen. <laughs> yeah, and I can, and the, it's called Mask of the Wild. So okay, yeah, uh, we got that. Uh, that's a three. Else? That's an eighteen. Oh, so so you see him, and he just kind of goes back, and 20. you see boom, and his, he just kind of camos right into the the wall. You don't know if he's over here. You have no idea where he is. As you're like, <clears throat> go ahead, roll your your <sighs> save. Please get up. Woo! Success. Another 13. So you hear, go ahead, roll your hit dice, plus okay. your three. And you hear, look who's Tony to the party. <sighs> and it's half your movement to get up. Okay, and it's, so we're doing two hit dice? Uh, he got two hit dice because he got a nat 20. Uh, okay, so I get one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if, uh, well, your first turn up, you're gonna, are you going to be able to do, like, actions and stuff? That's what he let he him. Did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled an eight, I so know. that's I get ten points back. Have so have his movements uh, get up, and then mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling Mike's gonna do something that we all have seen already. What? <laughs> Rar. Not quite yet. No. No, because what I am going to do Let's is I'm going to use my movement to get up. That's half. It's half. Uh huh. And I am going to take a step to my right. Wait, That's left. left. Yeah, this other way. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You're on the right. Yep, right there. I'm gonna look at them and I'm just gonna say, I fucking hate you guys. And I am going. You're just going to see me again. Take my staff, focus on it, and then just <clears throat> like this. And I am casting tidal wave. Of course. Nice. So that means you need you you you, you didn't do it. Uh, you need, <laughs> failed the deck. You save. both need to make a deck save of fifteen. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't make it. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. Lucky. 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 Seventeen. Okay. You you have to make one too. Because it's in the area. You're within range. It's, it's Even your... if I can't see you, you're oh, within okay. range. Yeah. You're in the area of effect. Nice one, man. <laughs> deck save. That's your action. Deck save. Yep. Fucking. Uh, thirteen. You fail. Um, so so that's gonna gonna take it. against the wall too. Like that's... massive d6s. Or... No, no, it's a four d8. Four d8. So you see him, that's and two. he's like fucking, and you see this massive tidal wave just start to form behind uh, Kirian as it just shoots forward. Go ahead, roll your your damage. 
I think I have advantage on deck saves. Hold on, hold on one second. I think I have. I think I took athlete. Check your reactions. Reaction. Oh, no, you, it was all the way in the bottom. You had it. Increase your deck by prone you standing up using five minute climbing doesn't cost him. No, it doesn't you say increase, anything about that. You increase your decks by one. Go ahead, roll. All right, so that's ten. Uh, seventeen points of damage. I'm unconscious. And you see, and you're also pushed back. Right? Wait, what? I'm assuming it's half. Yours is half. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're half to nine. I'm, I'm still yeah. unconscious. And okay, so you guys take full damage as. Also, I need you to make a con save to see if you can hold up your pass without a trace. Oh, uh, give me one second. It's gonna drop, by the way. Okay. Uh, okay. So, you see this tidal wave just crash, and you're like, <laughs> your body it's gets hit with this force density as you kind of weeble wobble, but you don't fall down, but Piotr fell down. And then, amongst this, you see a very soggy, annoyed Valiant in the corner, like, and you see the water kind of come out of his mouth. Anything else? Um, yeah, and um, since you guys both failed, you are also knocked prone. Okay. I mean, I'm unconscious regardless, yeah. so I'm all, But I think you're Thank still you. stunned, though. I got you, buddy. Yeah. Because so, it's an effect on you. Yeah, so like, how does that work? It just, it's not a spell. Oh, because you still have your turn. Okay. Yeah. So, at the end of his roll, we'll, we'll have you back up. Cool. And Anything then, else? Um, well, I still have some movement. Uh, don't you have a bonus action? Yeah, you uh, do. Exactly. So, well, what you're thinking I can't do. No? But, uh, it's it's an action oh, to cast action Wild Shape. It. It's a bonus action to, to drop, drop it. it. Got it. Um, so I'm going to use... Uh, I have uh, 35 feet of movement, so I know I have half of that. I've used five. So I can use that. That's 20. 10. I could go, I guess, one more step. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use my bonus action to take the totem off of... Um, Piotr. Uh, off of Piotr. So... It ties on, and Kidian's armor is starting to glow yellow. Absy will be and fuck you. Nope, I have you, my dogs. Your, your dog, you can't order your dogs. You can't. You but can't they talk. would hear all that. Yeah, but they you, they're not ordered to do anything. You order you them have to, to order them to move. You can't. Yeah, like damn it. You okay. can't control them. Okay. Go ahead, roll your knockout. You get a That's match putting your back up. Uh, fail. It's a fail. First failure, I think we've had. It's true. <laughs> Since you and I both went down. Valiant, actually. Okay, so Absidy is now prone. doing stuff. Yeah, yeah but I'm he's prone. I'm active now. Okay, so it takes five feet for me to stand back up. Yep, because you're soggy athlete. as shit, and you're like, like water's coming out of your pockets. I'm going to 10, 15, 20. Can I. Bonus action, or do I have to action take them from Absidy? Uh, because he's them. prone and he's no, whatever. No, it'd be a bonus action, bonus but action. there's three of them. So you'd probably only be able to take one. Only be able to take one? I'll let you do a sleight of hand, see if you can get more than one. Okay. Uh, because you are no longer pr- uh, stunned. Right. Yep. Uh, 15. Uh, 15, roll a d4 for me. Why are you pro- Oh, four. Wave. Yeah, yeah. Four, so you you're at, you managed to get three of them. And you're uh, kind of holding them like this. And then I want with my other hand to try and take uh, uh, Kyrian's so with that, an action. Is that would strength? be an action. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Strength. Do strength. Strength be strength. Go ahead. Roll. Strength. Throw. Oh, my strength man. is so bad. Yeah, no, this is not the time. They're like, <laughs> I'm so used to chart. <laughs> this could be it. What'd you get? Six. Sixteen. Oh. And he just snatches it, and you see Valiant is all lit up. So I used how much to here? Uh, used 20 feet of movement. 20. You were knocked prone, so you don't have any movement left. Because That's not true. It only takes me five feet to get up. He has because I have athlete. Uh, it's only five feet of movement for him to stand bang, up. Bang, bang. Well, I what, thought you only what, had 30 feet of movement. I have 35. Uh, not, he, but what else? So attack of opportunity? He would. So Do you have an I mean, attack of opportunity? See if you can knock him down. Because you don't go unconscious? <clears throat> I... It's gonna have to be a hell of a fucking hit for him to. Yeah, to I don't know unconscious. if I, I, I with my scimitar, I don't think I could do enough. You never damage. know. Yep, nope. You see, two. Swipe. natural two. And Valian, you take your fucking victory laugh. You smirk at Absidy as you go in. All tiki's on you. And you hear Wizard Steve, and that's time. And you see him, and you all kind of wake up. 
you kind of perk up. You're like, what happened? And you see Valian. Valian's just kind of triumphant. Doseki, like Captain Morgan pose. Did we win? We won. It's a, it's a very good thing that you had me steal those things. Or otherwise, I probably wouldn't have won. Oh, wait. I didn't do that. Weird. And I walk away. Speech! Speech! Ah, he'll get it. And with that, we will close this rousing game of Capture the Flag. Ooh. Like, the totem. comment, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, thanks for sticking with us while we learned how to do new character stuff. Uh, I had fun. I thought it was cool. Yeah. And it it's going to happen again next episode. Because yes. New characters. New <laughs> characters. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Tell us, uh, tell us your favorite moment or your favorite Wizard Steve pose. Three of yeah. them were the same. <laughs> I there think next time oh, no, there's going to be a gold cool. one. Guess which one was different. <laughs> B-Boy Wizard Steve is my favorite Wizard Steve. I like the B-Boys in general. They were pretty supportive. <laughs> What's that, dude? You're like, you're doing great. See ya. Bye. Bye.